It's really weird. But we should well, we play the other one. It's, it's what? It's Stoneheart Valley whenever they want. Well, the boys can't play. I only get yeah. it. It's just like, it's just weird. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, okay. You, uh, you're now in a situation you're trying to find the spoils of your ill-gotten fortune. Or not ill-gotten, I guess it's filing gotten fortune, right? At this point. So, uh, <laughs> you killed a couple of work ladies. You killed yeah. a lot of things, right? This is where you are, right? So, uh, yeah, let's take a look. It doesn't look like fun. Okay. Well, we killed a bunch of things, and, um, Last I remember, Callan ran into the room and stabbed a, a female orc that was wearing chainmail. It was odd. I think there were two um, of these female orcs that were um, a little bit beefier than the guys we were killing. Um, they were wearing chainmail. And um, you said there's another, well, there's a secret door that goes into like another layer, uh, like a nice room. Right. Yeah, that's, yeah, I guess that would be this room over here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, yeah, I guess, yeah, and pretty much, they were sitting in there and they called off and they attacked you and one almost And don't I have like two orc prisoners? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna need some links. Um, oh. Shmefty. Okay. And, oh, I gotta. Here, I'll stick it in the chat here. It's no problem. Okay. Um, yeah, I gotta get all my guys up. There's one coming at you. Yeah, I'm Ooh. gonna bring up all my, all my, all my uh, characters. That's cool. Do you have that already? You need that. Uh, you no, know, I, I, I got my Google Drive. I'm, I'm bringing them up. Dude, I said people. I love this Google Drive. That's awesome. And it, it just changes as you go, man. So, uh, happy day for all those RPGers and stuff out there. Um, Mike and I had a long discussion on the phone. Much easier that I'm not used to someone being. How, what's the word for? It? As meticulous as me. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> so Mike is completely in charge of his character sheet. I like this. I don't And it makes it a lot easier for me because usually I kind of went back there and um, I mean like doing something in the background and he and I are just kind of like, yeah, it's, he's good at it, so I don't have to look at it. God knows I don't want to because I said so. Thank God. So I'm all I'm gonna do most of the time, well, two things during the, during the thing, and I'm doing it on a little note card is hit points, arrows, and torches. So I've got actually three things, I should say. And so uh, I've got to write down what everybody has to begin with, and then uh, as things progress, okay, uh, we'll see how it's going to go. You still haven't had a rest yet, okay? So let's start off with. Um, I guess we should do these in order of magnitude of greatness, right? Uh, I should do Callan, Lanweon, Callus, Dale. Okay. Let's, okay, let's do the hit points first. Sure. All right. So Callus is down. He is. He has 23 hit points and he's down to 13. So he's down 10. Okay, so... He's got 13 out of 23. Okay, cool. How about Lanweon? Uh, Lanweon has 9 out of 21. He took a spear to the chest, remember? That's right. Yeah, that's the way That's the way an orc woman says hello. I just yep. respect him. How about Callan? He's, he's still pretty good, right? Callan's got 19 out of 34, so he's almost at 50%. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are fighting a lot. <laughs> and the funny thing is they're all level three characters. The level one character, Dale, is twenty-four out of twenty-four. It's got that armor, man. 
He's got plate and a shield, yeah. Okay, he's juiced up. So let's do their, uh, let's do a, a torch count. Let's, first of all, let's do the arrow count. So, sure. The arrow count they're at right now, remember, they had they had shot 14 arrows. Well, they, they basically were six to the good, and they had shot six arrows during this encounter. So they're now basically... Where I where I have them at, they're they're at 100. percent So, basically, Lanweon has 24 arrows in his quiver. Callan sure. has 24 in his quiver and 24 stashed. But there are a bunch of arrows yeah, around. Good. But I'm not gonna yeah, pick them up. Pick, I mean, they could be broken. Yeah, I don't know. Shot. So we just gotta yeah. let it go. That's easy where they kind of keep track of that. So Dale, he tossed a bullet, but I assume he- Yeah, Dale's down a bullet. I'm not sure why you had him as having, he only started with 30 bullets and he shot one and it missed. So he's got 29 bullets. Okay. Then he ran over and smacked now, him with a hammer. So for bullets, for those that don't know, if it's in uh, advanced d and they were uh, a neat little trick with the, uh, how would you say? The, anybody used a sling, where normally a stone's a 1d4. Bullets are 1d4 plus 1, but they're 1d6 plus 1 with larger objects. This is one of the best d players. I like to use because I think it just makes the, you know, it's just whatever. I mean, it's just 1d4 seems pretty whatever. But it's basically a steel ball. Not even it's a lead ball square. You whip it, it's perfectly round. You get a little better punch with it than a stone. That makes sense to me. All right. Cool. She gets something more powerful. We'll just whatever we got. So we also, Mike and I went down and we looked up some of the traits. Uh, Land Weon has a, a skill. What is it? If he's within five foot of anybody, and this is of course a DM's discretion when during an attack, he is able to increase his armor class by two on mm -hmm. his ability because of his size, because he's a light foot and he's able to duck and dodge and sneak between legs to do his attack. So he's actually really hard to hurt. Hard to hit. And the other one was, um, I think it's a plus one on all his ability checks for being a thief. Did you change that on your score? I didn't. Um, what I have on his, he has, I still have the old scores where, well, maybe you went in and you did a racial adjustments. Yeah, I've done all that. I, I, gotta, minus one and minus, he has some minus twos. Do you want me to change the minus twos to minus ones? I don't know. No, no, no. He just did work. The only thing he can't do better. I don't think you're going in and out. Sorry, I can't hear you. I said the only thing you can't do better was like listen at, for noises. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't think that being a certain race is going to make you be able to listen. Yeah. Unless you're like a Ferengi. You're right. Is yeah, my mic going in and out on you right now? Is my volume going in and out? Your volume is going in and out, yes. God, I'm using these AirPods. I don't see what the deal is. So maybe I'm let me just switch these things out real quick. Well, so I can so you don't hold the phone. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, I'll try this. The only problem is that um, I might wear this thing, except I go kind of uh, got a different sound. But actually, it's it seems to be it's compressed. It's a long story. I just I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> you can tell I'm like upset. I don't know how I feel about this whole thing. Let's do this for a second. Let's switch out devices, okay? So, uh, uh, no, well, Turn you up. Can you hear me?
Dis-le. Well, I can hear something. Yeah, I can, I can, I can hear you now. Can yeah, you I can me? hear you. You sound good. Um, yeah, this is okay. a glitch on the um. I have these AirPods for some reason with this computer. They don't want to do what they want to do. I know it's like probably the audio sounds better, but whatever, right? Nothing I can do about it. It is what it is, right? A fort. This is what I heard. I don't know. Like I listened to the recordings, it was sound kind of. I don't know what the word is for. Just a little uh, uh, tinny or something. Compressed. It sounds like I'm. Which actually, I don't mind, <laughs> but I don't because it doesn't bother me. You know, but anyways, um, we're going down our. I think this is all we have. I mean, I, I guess we go back to the thief, um, land we own. So, yeah. at your question right now, the scores that are there um, for thief. Let's uh, let's take a look for a second. Uh, I don't think it's. Let me see your character sheet. So if we look at him, I guess there's going to be some post-editing, taking out that long wait. <laughs> it's easy. I could cut that out. But it was, yeah, he's going to, um, looking at your character sheet, I would give him, based on the fact you pick Lightfoot, since this is the one thing he's going to be good at, yeah. clearly uh, moving silently. Yeah. He, oh, he should be at a seven on that one. He's a Lightfoot. Well, he, he's, he, he's yeah. at an eight, but I can put him at, at um, seven. So he's yeah. got he got pickpockets at nine, open locks at ten, find and remove traps at ten, move Pick, silent at seven, and hide in shadows. Pickpockets at at uh, eight. Change that to eight. Okay. Hide in shadows. Let's put that one at a uh, nine. Okay. Sweet. Um, I think that would be good. That would pretty much be his. Okay. Because if it's life where he should be able to sneak around and do a bunch of stuff, right? Sure. Some of his stealthy abilities that we think that we associate with a, a light foot, right? Does that make yeah. sense? So uh, let's get him. He's set to go. You know, you're, you're in charge of him. You know what you're doing. Okay. I, I don't, but hey, I never said well. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you want to loot this room, right? Or I think we have, I think that's all the data I need. Well, oh, well, torches! Yeah. How many torches you get for this guy? So land me on oh, this guy. Oh, now that is now that is a darn good question. I have not been really keeping up with torches. He's got twelve torches on him, but remember, we've been in yeah a couple Every, rooms, so he should be down a couple torches, right? Because you're yeah, looking. At, two, usually, I say two per two per room. But you know he's actually every time you stop, like you're staying in a room, I would say that would be entirely. Per so from here to here, that would have been one. Of course, that was a big war too. Yeah, and were some were some of them damaged when Alfred was carrying them, but they got stuffed all over. I don't know. What deals. I forgot how we, we had. No, with Alfred, yeah, you 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 said that six of them survived, and I put them on Lamb Leon. Okay, cool. Lamb Leon is twelve. Okay, yeah, the cool. bunch got damaged on Alfred. Um, so we say this is one, this is two, and then they spent another ten minutes. He probably had a light on one, so it would have been three, but he couldn't have had one on him when this whole thing took place. Yeah, so why don't we say he's down to eight? Okay, see. And I don't want to go back and try to figure that out, but technically yeah. speaking, how did how was he able to do the stuff he was there anything lit in the room when he was doing it? Let's say there was a sconce and he stuck the torch in the sconce. Let's just go with that story, all right? Sure, or or the other side of it is, you know, you could say he dropped the torch. It's still lit. It's just. I'd rather just, say there. Was, I'd rather say there was probably a sconce in the room. We just put it in there. Because right. <laughs> well, then we kind of talk about he set anything on fire. <laughs> I don't want to yeah, deal with that. <laughs> yeah, he, put, uh, he dropped it in a sconce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Okay. So um, he put it in a sconce. There was sconce there. All right. Um, so um, Callan last time Callan went and he um, he he made that stab. Right. So um, now um, Lamweon, I guess it's, it's a Lamweon's move. Um, he's going to, Lamweon is actually going to, 
go into the room, or he's right. gonna he's gonna he's gonna pick up the sconce, the the torch out of the sconce, and he's going to go into the room. And I guess that's gonna be his action. Then you can describe me. Um, Callus is going to go and pick up his. He's going to try to find all six of his um, dagger darts that he that he threw. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dale is going to go over here and stand guard over these two orcs with his warhammer. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Cool. All right. So I guess what did Lamwe on and Callan see? They're in the room. Okay. So first of all, um, Callan sees something he really wants. Ooh, really okay. Cool. It's a, it's a beautiful, ornate shield with a double-headed eagle on it. Ooh, yeah. It was. This is the orc leader's room. It's like hanging over his area of bed of rags where he was bedding down his two concubines that you guys just slaughtered. But it was like one of his prize wins, right? So you can see this thing. It's a beautiful shield. Yeah, Callan takes it down, puts it on her, and uh. It's light, mate, and it's big, and it's a plus one shield. So write that down. Make sure you get that change your armor class, right? Okay. Love it. And matter of fact, he just took a shield off of this other wall, so now he's so he's gonna put that other shield down. Yeah. <laughs> why, why take that one? You got some good stuff. Yeah. So there's, um, a, there's a small little like bag, so it's kind of like a pouch bag, more or less, and um, it's got some stuff in it. Just letting you know. And yeah. Okay, um, sorry, I'm I'm excited. I'm ch I'm, ch I'm changing his 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 armor class to cool. something. All right. So all right. So yeah. Um. So um. Callan. So no, you know, Lamweon picks up that little bag. Um. And I guess you said there was a. A something over here. There was like um, fabric on the yeah. wall. Tapestry, yes. Okay. Um, oh, now I'm concerned. Something's back there. Okay, Lamweon is going to go peek on the other side of the tapestry. Cool. Off. Can you do a saving throw real quick? That's what I thought happened. <laughs> <laughs> do a saving throw. Let's see how he does. I'm getting to know you. It's all about what you yeah, do. Yeah, for one. No. Oh, no. Is that, do I got to do under? No, I don't. I got to do over. Over. What'd you roll? Oh, a one? A one. A one. <sighs> Not good. It is what it is. It's, is it? It is what it is. I mean, I rolled a one. He's not the wisest thief. He he peaked. What massive dragon or something? <laughs> not a massive dragon. Um. Yeah. Uh. Shit. What's his armor class? Oh, it's not good. Um. It is. Uh. Oh, but he's small. It's his, his armor class of 14. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. All right. I gave him the benefit of a doubt. Yeah. Uh, a, a poisonous centipede strikes out and tries to uh, nick him. In doing so, hits his hand, his strong hand, and it, it paralyzes him. But then he realizes that if he would have been like a direct hit, it probably yeah. would have killed him. But he's yeah. not going to die. His hand will be paralyzed for the next... I guess maybe three rooms he'll he'll have a lack of he'll have a minus four on his hits because he's using the opposite hand, whatever, it's kind of a mess. But he's still he's still he's still working. <laughs> he's still working. I'm still working. It's like so I have a torch in one hand, his other hand is bur okay. So um, it would have been a direct kid it would have been a direct kid, he would have been gone. It would have hit the main and yeah. he would have been going there. But he's uh keep in mind he's on a minus four for the next few uh next couple rooms, all right? So yeah. But, I mean, he's in this one. It's two more after this one. And after that, the poison would have worn off enough that he'll be fine, right? Okay. <laughs> he may get the slobbering fits or something part way through. But for right now, he's going to make it. 
<laughs> There's a giant centipede on here. Yeah. It was like behind the tapestry, like on the wall. Yeah. You lifted it up, you, it kind of showed with the torchlight that he's holding. You opened it up, the thing struck at him, you know, tried to sting him. Yeah. So uh, now it's like, I'm going to roll for initiative. Obviously, it jumped in. That was a surprise hit. Yeah. I rolled a six. You got to beat me a six. He still has oh. a chance that he's still going to mess your ass up, I guess, if you don't look out, right? Yeah. So you got to roll a six or higher on a 26. Yes. Actually, you just have to roll a six. You win if you yeah. roll a six. I rolled a, I rolled a three. Didn't, it right. didn't, it didn't happen. So this thing jumps off the wall and strikes at you again. Yeah. And it misses you completely. Your turn. Nice. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so um, Lame Leon, well, all he has is the torch, um, right? Um, so he has, a torch, he has a torch in hand right now, yes. He does, but what he's going to do, um, well, he's hurt. So what he's going to do is he's actually going to step back here that's his move just step away okay um and callan that's not the going, color i wanted okay well let's just go ahead what's callan gonna do callan's gonna swing he's got his he's got this new shield and he's got a sword out okay he's gonna dispatch the giant scorpion right you got it Scorpion or centipede? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a centipede. Yeah, it's a okay, I was about to say, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I, said, I, said the, I said the wrong one. I, I do that. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Um, oh, so yeah, Schneppy, he's, um, Callan's going to interpose himself and then swing away. Come okay. on, Nap, 20. No, a seven. Nice. Okay. It did not happen. Here you go. I'll make your life a little better. I'm, I'm actually going to share a little picture with you, my friend. How about that? So you can take a look at that. Look at that link. And get your vibe on. That's from the uh, 1978 Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Monster oh. Manual. <laughs> yeah. To show that you have a very, very interesting target on you, right? Therefore, you know, that's fun. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> there you go. So he didn't do well, did he? He missed. He what? missed. Oh, my God. Okay. So all right. he missed. Um, but it's Callus' turn now, right? Callus is the other. Callus is in the other room. So yeah, yeah. Does, he, does he even know what's going on? I guess he's yelling. You hear people squelch. I guess they would know that, right? Yeah. He'd definitely come a running. <laughs> yeah. So um, Callus says, um, tells Dale to stay here, okay. and because he's because he's uh, guarding them, right? And. Um, He's going to, well, can he get there? Four? Yeah, he could get right here. Five, that's five. Do it. So he, he could get right there. And um, he is going to throw his three daggers at this thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Dagger darts. Nice. All right. So three times. And I'm, watch him hit Callan in the back of the neck. All right. A seven, a nine, and a 15. 15's gonna hit. Go ahead. All right. Um. No, it's not four. I gotta do one d six and divide it by um. Three. three two, yeah. right? Oh, here, three points of damage. Oh, good. All right. So, yeah, he swings it, misses it once, misses it twice. The thing's like coiling and running all over the wall, and then finally, the third one, you hit it, it sticks it right in its head. And it impales it onto the wall, and it kind of does this vibration thing with its all its legs, and then it just kind of dies, and the whole thing kind of like starts oozing this really weird-looking, acrid-smelling, acidic-smelling fluid just starts oozing out the side of it and just dripping down on the wall. It was pretty gross. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, he did a good job. It doesn't have that many hit points. It's just that he's deadly. <laughs> <laughs> There's Lamby on the at the corner. He's rubbing his hand like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's kind of what that's kind of what happens with these things, right? Uh, all right. Okay. So, so there was this te tapestry or thing. We moved it across the side, and. There's this, I guess, the other little tiny alcove here, a room, and yeah. it's just a. Uh... All right. Is there anything else in there besides a dead centipede? A giant centipede. Uh -huh. There is, how would you say, a uh, two complete sets of chainmail, one that's man Ooh. size and one that's door size. There is a locked iron chest, and oh my god! Okay.
Okay, and it actually has a. Uh, okay, and there's uh, two more things uh, that are in there in the chest. So, so I mean, it's a chest that has like several objects in it. You don't know okay. the chest is locked. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, well, first things first. Um, Callus, Lamweon, and Callan, they all have healing potions. Okay. Um, Chug a lug. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I am. I am first going to do. Um, I think Cal. No, Lamweon is the most hurt. Lamweon is going to drink his healing potion, and maybe this might help his hands. I don't know. But we're going to. He's. Okay. He's gonna, he, he does one d six plus two. I, I believe. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, How do you two do? Two is four. He got four hit points. Okay. He got four hit points back. So now he's back up to 13. Okay. Uh, um, and let me take that off of his character sheet. How many does he have left? Is that his last one? It's the only one, probably. That's the one that they were given. I, uh, That's the one they were given, yeah. Okay, um, cool. Um, Callus is going to... Um, well, maybe I should do Callan first. Callan, Callan's going to do his, right? Because he's the next okay. one in order. Um, and he's also eyeing that um, chain mail because right now he's wearing instead of the leather. So um, he's going to do um, six. No, okay. yeah, one six. Oh, no, he rolled a one. One plus two is three. I am just whiffing at, at, at this. Okay, so it, it, <laughs> what it is, though. Um, 22. Right. All right. Callus. Callus needs some. Um, another six out of die. Four. Four. Two, two, six. Three. So he's now up back up to nineteen. Well, that's better. Yeah. That's better. All right. So I gotta take though that um, healing potion off of off of him. Um, oh, tail. Oh I'm no, gonna, sorry. I can take it off of all, all of them. All three oh, of yeah, them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you do. They all. Um. Now, Dale can heal, but he's not in the room, so. Um, okay, so we just did that. Now, so what Callan's going to do is I'm starting to get used to. Um, Callan's going to go over and guard this door. Okay. And Lamweon is going to go, and I know he's probably going to have a minus, but he is going to um, try to open that lock. Okay. If we're trapped in open locks. Yeah. So what's his what's his thing for opening locks? What is open it? locks is an eight. Okay. So he's it's going to be like a ten because his hand's still all. Yeah. It's like all numbing things. So like, he's fifty fifty shot doing. So he's got to get over a ten. Yeah. Over a ten. Did not do it. Got a nine. Damn it. <laughs> Do a saving throw real quick. <laughs> Dead. Got yeah, saving throw. 18. Okay, good. And you know, and you know, comes out and he goes, not today, not today. Oh. <laughs> he's a little <laughs> more, he's more, more alert about being stuck now. He's got an enemy. Oh, yeah, it's funny. So the, the needle comes out. Yeah. Okay? And then uh, now he can like finish pulling the lock apart because okay. obviously he's, you know, but he rolled high, but it pulled the he would never have to do a saving throw, so that's kind of what it was. So, yeah, so you can obviously clearly open the thing now. Yeah, okay. He has, cool. uh, in, inside of it is 205 copper pieces. I wrote all this down, so I'll, I'll give it back to you. Like, I'll put it, wait, 205 copper pieces. It has 286 silver pieces, uh, 81, well, 81 plus 30. So I, got, I got to do some math real quick. I know what to get right. 126 gold pieces. Okay. A gem worth 300 gold pieces. A potion. Ooh. And a scroll. A scroll? Yeah. Ooh, I love scrolls. Um, um, all right. Okay, I just. I mean, Lamwee is not the brightest thing in the world. Um, so Lamwee is going to um, hand the scroll to 
uh, Callus. Okay. And while Callus is looking at the scroll, Lanweon is going to sip the potion. He's just very curious. Uh, he gets back one hit point. Whoa! Okay, he downs the potion. <laughs> Roll a Win D6, and obviously you're going to add instead of one. Uh, yeah, just Win D6 plus one, and you already got one back. So go ahead. Roll Win D6. Six. Okay, six plus two is eight. Nice. Eight plus 13 is 21. He's up. He's up. He's back to where he was. Oh, my God. What a good deal. And his hand feels fine. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, lucky uh, man he is, right? It needs to be curious. Okay. Um, Callus, man, I'm so excited. Um. I'm looking at the scroll. Um, what do I see? Uh, Cal, Cal looks at the scroll, looks at it, and he starts to giggle very loudly. Okay. And he says, this is a really, really big fireball. No this way. This is twice as big as the other one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 6d6 fireball. The other one's 3d6. So, yeah, do the math, right? Oh, I think the other one, is it the other one 3d6? Yeah, but the, the the one in the wand is three six. But the thing is, I don't know fireball. So if I keep it and I hold it till I'm fifth level, put it in my spell book. I mean, I might need it, but if I can put it in my spell book, I can I can know fireball. But yeah, a big it, fireball. It's, it's, fireball. <laughs> it's, a, awesome. it's, a, it's a big fireball. It's sixty six. I looked at this. I was like, Are you serious? That's like a it's like a nuke <laughs> yeah. nuke on a scroll. All right. Well, that's a big one. Yeah, I guess if you hold on to it, you go to third level. What level are you right now? What, what, what level do you get to learn Fireball? Uh, he has to be level five to learn Fireball. They're oh. level three. They've been level three for a while, but I figured you were keeping them at this level because of the, the dungeon. I don't know, but maybe after this, Dale might level up. But I don't know. Um, well, it's not, you're, uh, quote, unquote, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll see where you are at the end of clearing yeah. Because I gotta give you guys all an experience point, whatever number, yeah. And then oh, you figure out where everybody's at. We go from there. Cool. No, I gotta, so, do, a, I gotta do a little mathematical calculus. It's totally awesome. Yeah. yeah. yeah right. the, go the the part though that um, and I don't know how much time this is gonna take. Uh, you let me know. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing is, Callan wants to um, take off his studded leather and put sure. it in his backpack. Okay. And put on that chainmail that that is that's fit for that human. Fair enough. All right. So the chainmail is not magical, but it has more, you know, obviously um, a higher armor class. Yeah. Well, I believe, I believe chainmail once more in the actual book. I just want to make sure we're. So I keep looking at it, referencing because this is something I just don't memorize. Who would, right? No one. Well, right? it's, it's on my it's on my character sheet. Fourteen. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could do it. Is it really fourteen? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just goes up, goes up, goes up one more point. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. And idea. um, so so he's now gonna be because with that magical shield, he's at AC eighteen now. Dang. All right. Well, he's not bad. He's gonna get hit less. I guess that's the goal, right? Yeah. So he he has a, stick around a little longer, right? Does it? Yeah. Really. Okay, so, so how is this? Now, I, I'm just saying, you know, when monsters are to take into consideration, these are like first level monsters. They don't really even get a bonus. But like you say, you're fighting a third level monster, just like you know, when Swords of Wizardry, they get a plus three on the roll. So if you get a fourth level monster, it's a plus four. It's just it incrementally goes up like that, just to kind of FYI. So you say, oh my God, you got this, and it's like nothing, and all of a sudden, let's say you're running into a six level bugbear. Yeah, yeah, you got another situation. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Power climb will happen. I'm just letting you know it will. Go ahead. Sure. Okay, now here comes the pain of being good. Um, Dale can't knock the. Well, I'm trying to figure out what I can do with these two orcs. I can't kill them because we're good guys. Um. If I let them go, they're just going to be snarky and laugh at me again. They're just going to go back around and get more bad guys. Um, <laughs> you um, think? This is their hobby. <laughs> yeah. It's the same, too. They're the guys that hide in the back and they won't engage the war because they right. want to survive. And they, they, they do. They've done it twice. They know this is how it works right now. So, they'll, drop, they'll drop everything in a heartbeat and say, oh, I'm um, Well, in 
in the leader's room, um, the, the, of the, not this room, but the other room, did that door swing in or did it swing out? It's, it came in. Yeah, so that's, I can't lock them in there. Um, okay, then, um, all right, what, 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 what Dale's going to do, and I know this might not work, but it's just worth a shot. Dale can't, he's a good cleric. He's a good guy. Right. He's going to tie them up. Like he's going to bound them hands okay. and feet. Um, and gag them. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So we're so he's gonna he's gonna tie them up really tight. Um and um they're still manacled at the feet together. So yes. so okay. So he's done that. Um so can I ask you a question? So whatever rope you're using, I guess you have to take off X amount of feet to do this thing. So yeah. I guess you can ma you'll manage that and find out how many how many feet have I used for binding these guys up and stuff. So I know you have a fifty foot is it silk rope. Who's whose rope are you using and stuff? I, you're in charge of that, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think um, the lane we gotta cut them off is uh, and I, so I'm gonna I'm, but I'm gonna say if I take off. I think six feet of rope per person would would do it, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. So, or well, about five feet. So I'll take off ten feet of rope. So he's okay. got a feet. Okay. That's fine. Right. Yeah, and 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 I just took it off of Dale's because he's the one that's there d doing this. Okay. Um. All right. So now we. So also, let me kind of give you a heads up on what my plan is. What I'd like to do is I want to gather up, get my guys together, go through that door and kind of experience, but I really want to come back. We have 50, out of all the other gold we got last time, I'd already separated it out, but I had 50 gold pieces set aside for Alfred's family. Yeah, and I okay. I also want to take Alfred back to bury him. And my point is, seriously, there's- there's, I, there's well, I'm out, like on the floor crunched up, but yeah. I, 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 no, but there's two spears there. We could rip that tapestry down and we can make um, a litter because you could yeah. do it with just folding it over and over like three times. You do that in the military and you could, you know, and we could carry him home. All that Fair being, enough. we can carry Alfred home. I mean, he's yeah. dead. Right. But, you know, and carry some treasure if we need to. But right now, we got to go explore the rest of these baddies. Um, oh, it, and, and Callus found. Did Cal oh, Callus threw his uh, three dagger darts. Can he pick up his three dagger darts again? Uh, yeah. Okay, all right. So Callus is back up with all of his dagger darts. Okay. What we could do is we could say every time you throw them, you pick them up. Okay. But well, you don't have to worry about this. Oh, I forgot one time and I didn't get them kind of thing. Well, I'm just assuming that he's very mindful and meticulous about his stuff. So he's probably always going to remember to pick all my stuff up. And you just he probably has spots. He sticks yeah. them in the front of his like, vest. Yeah. Right, right. So let's just do that. That way you don't have to. Okay. You and you just let me know if, if one of them goes too far, if I can't, or if something's damaged. Okay. All right. Right. Okay. You know, it's like if you threw one and it's like a one. Yeah. If there was no one else around you, then it might get damaged or something. We'll, we'll worry about that when it happens. But yeah, go ahead, anyways. So, uh. All right. Yes, so, Challenge in Chainmail with his plus one shield. Dale's in his plate with his shield. Um. Callus has his um, wand out and ready, um, and Lamweon is um, got his um, bow. Even though I know he's gonna have like a hard time. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, oh, Callus is actually gonna cast a spell right now. Oh, okay. Callus idiot me he's gonna cast shield spell nice okay. I, keep, I keep forgetting to do that okay because i got a feeling that you're about to set up something pretty damn ugly for me coming out this door right. okay. why would i do that There's nothing <laughs> in it. all right so we are um we got 
Callus and Dale and Lanweon. Well, actually, yeah, Callus. Okay, we're gonna open the door because these guys are tied up here supposedly. Hopefully they don't. And we are going to um, open up the door to that. I guess that's the eastern side or the that, that yeah. right side over here. Okay. Um, over here and look down that hallway. Okay. Right now you see nothing down this hallway. It goes about 40 feet and it kind of stops. So I guess I'll go ahead and fill as we go. Well, well, we're, not, we're, not, we're, we're not moving. We're not moving. We're not moving. Yet. Just, I know. You're just looking down the hallway. Then yeah. it makes a bend for what you can see. Wait one second. Okay, cool. It makes a bend and goes down. So you can't see past that. Okay, Lane Leon um, um, suggests they, that they close the door. Lane Leon's going to go back and look at these orcs that are littered. Are any of these orcs look anything different like than the other orcs? They all look like about the same type of orcs. We Great didn't... question. They're, they look like they're sort of maybe they have different brandings and stuff, like a different insignia. Yeah. But none of them... Like, this group really? looks a little different than the group you're taking on back over in this area down here. Whatever. Exactly, but none of them look like bigger than the others. Like we didn't like accidentally kill the boss. In there. You, you took the boss out. Uh, no, you didn't take the boss out. He's not here. You took there were some of his guards. Remember that? Okay. The guards yeah. were down here. You chopped those guys up. Yeah, there were yeah. yeah there were six of them that came or four that came through here and these two and yeah. then there were four that came yeah. this. Way. So there were eight males plus those two because there were six and there were these two females okay but but there was a big boss here who's now down here that I never yeah. examined his corpse idiot me I, um, did. I thought you went through his stuff I thought you got his junk in here like a rope of climbing oh, yeah, yeah, that's right yeah, yeah we, just, we haven't done the detect magic spell so i don't know what it, yeah you're right so we, we we grabbed a bunch you said there was a sword that had a it was a sword and something else no it was yeah, a you got, I mean, the thing is we have you haven't you took an arrest yet to really kind of go through the story, yeah but okay so basically you all, you're, in the, you're in the thick of it man yeah you're it's in the just all in the okay so so lane way on then comes back here and says okay um let's and and Cal says, let's move forward. So is this a 10 foot or, or five foot path? Uh, I guess it should be 10. So I'm sorry, I should go like this. That's right. And then this goes down. There it goes. That's better. Okay, 10 foot. Not much about root look weird. Eh, whatever. Okay, no big deal. Well, so, if that's the case, then uh, what we're going to do is, because then we can do we can go side by side. Fair enough. Um, so we get here, what do we see? We look, we look around this corner. Okay. Oops. I got a pan over so I can see what's going on. There we go. Yeah. We're, in the, we're in the nasty right now. What all is this up here? Oh, it's just all the marching water stuff. Yeah. yeah. I got to get rid of some of this. This is me crazy. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Wait, oh, wait. Is that right? I guess that's the front, that's the rear. Oh, I see what it is. Leon is over here. I had to make a new one. I lost him. He's over yeah, here now. So, but he's in front, right? Well, well, no. You had what? What I'm doing right now um, on Schmeppy is I've got Callan and Dale in front because they've got the shields and they got the armor, and I got okay. Leon and Callus behind them. So I kind of changed up the marching order a little bit. There's, okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can see what's going on. But, but I don't need either. Yeah, you're good. But, but it's usually like it's either I think it was Lan Leon, Lan Leon shoot first, doing first because he had eighteen. Yeah, Lan Leon have a high dexterity. But yeah, I got so I got to memorize now. We don't have to like have that up there, so I can see what's going on. Right, so we're kind of cool. So as you move this way down this thing, mm -hmm. it goes a little further to the south as far as like, uh, and then it makes a bend going this way. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, um, can you roll a 1d6? I sure can. Because we are expecting trouble. <laughs> this is for Callan. Three. Callan goes, Callan says, uh, 
something's coming up ahead, right? Um, Trap, man. Yeah, you can just tell something, something's up. You have uh, what appears to be a passage where you go up this way, this way, comes this way. You also have a passage where you go up this way, and you actually have what appears to be a door here on this side. Gotcha. All right. So the guess the thing is, this would be a nice place for an ambush. Um. Yeah, but we gotta we gotta trigger it. Um. Do, I guess, Lamuel's gonna try to hear. Does he hear orcs ahead? All right, let's do a hearing roll. You got it. Ready? This will be interesting. Let's see what he gets. Nineteen. <laughs> He, he can hear he can hear a fly fart. That's how good he is at this. Right? So he's, uh, he's like hearing, and uh, he motions. He does this Ronto Bravo thing, or whatever like that. He he signals with his fingers, uh, essentially, and he stops. Yeah. And then he starts counting on his fingers, and then he stops, and he goes. <laughs> then he goes like this. Ten, fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen orcs. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> and then he goes like this. He goes. Ten. Ten. Twenty-five orcs. No. Ten orcs. And he does okay. this. And then he says. One. One big orc. Okay, seven little orcs. All right, six little orcs. Okay, so we got six or seven little orcs, one big orc. All right. Okay. <laughs> and 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 my feeling is that he's hearing them right here. Yeah, he hears them up and down some hallway. Yeah, you can tell he, he's he's trying. He knows there's something big that's probably down either this hallway or that hallway. Can't tell. This goes into a room. He can't hear anything past that door. He's not at the door, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. That's what he's kind of. All right. That's what he's hearing. So I'm just. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. So, um, all right. Well, we are going to. Um, Callan's got his new magic sword out and his shield. Dale's got his out. Um, we know something's coming up here. Um, all right. So. I know I know what I'm gonna do. I got it. I gotta I got a plan. This is not this might not work out, but what the hell. Okay. Yeah. Um so after he gets done doing those hands and goes, he pretty much tells you this is what's up here. Yeah. I got you. All right. Um I am going to have Callan and Dale come right up here Lanweon Lanweon if he stands about 10 feet back he can fire over Dale right if Dale's up a little head ahead of him maybe 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 not maybe not I mean Dale's bigger than Lanweon yeah Lanweon's 3 feet Dale's what well, almost 5 4, four foot something five, yeah he's actually wearing plate mail he's probably pretty bulky looking guy yeah. right it depends on doors, are, doors are misleadingly big. Yeah, they are. Okay, I got you. All right, well, it's fine. He's going to produce. So um, what we're going to do, God, what did I get him up to? Um, all right, we're going to, um, Dale right now is in, in, in his turn is going to do Cure Light Wounds on Callan. Okay, burn it. Let's see what happens. How'd you do? Six. Awesome. Wow. What'd you get? Six plus one? I think it is. Yeah, I think your light wounds are as you get six plus one. So those potions were a little uh, special in the beginning because I yeah. wanted you guys to, to get a little boost of confidence before right. things get rough. Right, I, so I mean, I, I'm such a nice guy inside that it kind of goes away after a while. <laughs> just, just All right. Those. So. So Dale only has one spell left. All right, all right. So we are, 
six plus four, you got seven hit points. He's at what? Twenty nine. Yeah, twenty nine. He's sitting good. Okay, twenty one. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna get back to Schmeppy. All right, so they're gonna get about fifteen feet from this uh, intersection, and Lanweon is gonna be right. Callus is going to then Callus is gonna say very very loudly in Orcish, "You have you. I'm gonna count to five and you have to uh, flee. If you do not, I will bring this cavern down on top of you. <laughs> okay, so this, how is he doing this? Right now, he's just telling the orcs that if, you do, if they do not flee, he's going to bring the entire cavern down on top of them. Okay, so... Uh... Callus, right? Callus. Yeah, this is I am the great mage Callus. And I will tear your walls up down upon you. Okay. He's saying it in Orcish. I like this. This is fun, right? Um why don't you do a charisma roll on that? Alright. What's your charisma? Like six? Oh no, that that's Kvetch. Callus is like thirteen. Alright. So he, I gotta get under under that. Yeah. Four. Okay. okay. So at the point that he starts saying all this stuff, you hear some kind of rumbling noise a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And so then they uh, you hear these things go back and forth. <sighs> They start to peel out of the corner and start to go toward. You see the dice roll that just happened? Huh? You see what they just rolled? No, I didn't. I didn't. What is it? A natural. Oh my god! <laughs> they jump running around the corner. It's the saving throw versus your intimidation. Nice tactic. I don't think it worked at all, right? So these guys come peeling around and they all have spears and they're charging. So they, they're just waiting for the queue and they, they're just running. They're, they're all, they all have spears. So what they're going to do is they're going to go to the front line. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> they're peeling yeah. in and they're going to try to make their attack. So if you think about it, they're charging with spears. So they get a plus one yeah. to their attack. And yeah. of course they get, their armor class is normally going to be 13, but they're going to lose two on their armor class. Their armor class will be 11 because of what they're doing, right? Well, we were ready for it. We got our, we got our shields up. All right, so it's, they're plus one. So basically, they can have two front lines because of the way, it's, uh, yep. the way spears are. So you're going to get hit four times, all right? So two on mm-hmm. count with the plus one, ready? Mm-hmm. One, plus one, that's a miss. Plus one, that's a miss. All right, another one's Dale. Plus one, that's a miss. That's a miss. So they're all just clanging and hitting your shields. You pretty much put together a unified front, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that that's all that's able to make on that first attack. Now we roll for initiative. I rolled a three. Make it three or better. Okay. Oh, I did not do it. Uh, I got a uh, one. Okay. All right. So these guys can still, they're going to make a second round of attacks. So two, this is on a talent, right? Yeah. One. I think that's a hit. Did he, uh, he, he, has, he has an 18. That's two hits. Okay. It's rough. Okay, right here. One, two. Nine hit Nine points of damage on him. So he's, he's down, down to 20. He's down to 20. Yep. Wow, that's rough. All right. So these two are going to go on Dale. Ready? One, two. Two misses on Dale. Dale's like never getting hit, man. I don't know what the deal is there. Me. Okay, so uh, and the, um, you are now, I guess, they're bottlenecked. So these two guys, they're in position and formation. They cannot make an attack. If someone dies, they just push up and start making their attack. And this big thing in the back, you look at it, it is a giant ogre. Yeah. He's got a chain around his neck, and this guy's holding his chain right here. So this is where you were at with this one. So at this point, you're attacked. So you want to go Callan first on this thing? Let's do it. Yeah, all right. So Callan is going to... Um... Oh, they, don't have, they don't have a negative on there. Now. I mean, it was just in the first one where they charged. Sure. Dharma class, now it's 13. All right, go ahead. 
So, Talon with his sword. Sure. Eight plus. Oh, well, oh yeah, he's got these pluses, doesn't he? He's got yeah, they're, a they're, lot they're, of them. They're, they're orcs. Plus um, two. Oh no. Is it plus? No, it's, but it's not a plus to hit, right? No, it's just damage. Is it or is it? No, it is plus two. You got plus two with the magic sword. So that's nine. What did I roll? I eight. eight, so that'd be a 13. 13's a hit. Yeah. So he gets a plus five on all his rolls. Okay, that's cool. Right? Well, it's against these guys because they're orcs yeah, and goblins. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so how much damage did he take? Um, he is going to do 1d8 plus five. Wow, but that's it doesn't matter. He's killed him. So the first guy in the front, he just totally, like, takes him out. Boom. Mm -hmm. Right, so well, he took that guy out. All right, Dale, your turn, buddy. Okay, Dale is going to roll. Come on, Dale. 20! A natural 20! Holy moly! All right, you don't even have to roll because he's going to do it, even if he has a yeah. full hit, right? So this is, uh, yeah. Because he's got that Warhammer plus four. Yeah, he's yeah. taking this guy out. So he busts this guy right across the tip. If you want to describe it, go ahead and have some fun. Here you oh, go. um, well, he, um, well, what he does is he takes it and he smashes him in the side of the head, and the guy's entire face just claps him. <laughs> I like how D&D &D, we just work through stuff is that how it is that's yeah, kind of how that works right alright so now you have this flanks these, this next group and of course this chain of this thing's coming up right they're yeah. going to make their strike right boom boom so uh two one Callan here it comes right yeah and uh well wait a minute um, Lamweana Callus didn't get to go oh okay fine I didn't think that yeah go ahead so what are they going to do from All right, behind um, Lamweon's going to say, go get him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know he's going to do much. But he's going to, you know. Uh, he's cheering him on. He's cheering him on. Yay, yay. You guys fight those right. darks for me. Yay. What about Callus? Callus is good. Callus is a man of his word. He's going to bring the walls down on top of them. Okay. He, he casts Phantasmal Force. And... With Phantasmal Force, he is going to cast an image uh, right here, um, all along right in here. Of uh, well, actually, okay. the whole area. Okay, let me just describe what he's going to. He is going to cast Phantasmal Force, and the boulders and the walls and everything and the noise and the everything is going to come down on top of them. <laughs> awesome! I love it. All right. So the, uh, the orcs are going to make their heavy throw right now, right? Yeah. So uh, they have to beat a um, 17. I don't see this yeah. happening, but here we go. This is for the orcs. And I'll do it for guys. One, two, three, four. One guy. Yeah. One guy is actually going to be the only one that believes it, okay? Yeah. Now I'm going to do the giant ogre, okay? He has to beat a 13. He doesn't. Nice. So, this is what you're going to have left. The ogre is like, to hell. <laughs> and then what you're going to have is this whole chain of dudes making a run for it, okay? Well, wait a minute. Don't, don't they take some, like, 2d6 necrotic damage? Oh, well, they will. Oh, they will. But right now, they're just trying to get out of there, right? They think the whole world's falling apart, right? So, let's do the, uh, let's do the, let's do the damage here, 2d6. Yeah. Right. In the run. Oh, wait. Oh. See how they did. <laughs> so it, it, it could kill them, right? It's yeah. like they die. Wow, that's messed up, man. So, uh, of the ones that believe this thing, okay, yeah. it, they have an aneurysm. <laughs> he has an aneurysm. He has an aneurysm. <laughs> he gets hit, but he still runs. <laughs> He's not sticking around oh, with this man. The world's falling apart. This guy's falling. Right? So, but he's he got hurt. He's out of there. Yeah. He's running down this hallway. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's the lone guy left. Still a little bit of a morale check. I don't think he's gonna make it. But let's see what happens. He's lost his whole. Yeah, I, he's gonna make a run for it, but he's going to uh pull back with the, his sphere out so they can't get an attack opportunity on the situation. Okay. 
right? So he makes his move back. Uh-huh. Keeping it out. He's going to move and he starts to bang on the door here. Okay. Okay. That's uh, that's where he is with this thing. Let's see what happens there. Uh-oh. Okay. He doesn't actually understand why they got hurt or what happened. Yeah. Right? He just disbelieved it. It just sort of didn't happen. It was like he just rubbed his eyes and went away. Yeah. So for him, it doesn't really, like, seem anything, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. At that point in time, he's trying to bang on this door. This is where we are. Your turn. All right. Um, all right. So, <laughs> Cowan... Oh, I got to take off that. Um, Cowan is going to run up. Oh, it's. I guess it's Cowan first, right? It's Cowan, and then it's Lamb we on. Well, yeah. okay. Well, well let's. We'll, we'll just do it one at a time. Cowan's gonna run up and take an attack on him. Go ahead. Sure. Fifteen. Uh, that's a hit. That's definitely a hit. And that's eleven points of damage. And that's definitely dead. Boom. All right. And he was. He was trying to bang. Oh, go to that door, and so he died banging on that door. You can't tell if he's trying to get in or he's trying to get someone to come out of it. That's all you know. I understand. I understand. All right. So, um, okay. So, all right. Dale looks this way, and the, that ogre's running, right? Yeah, it's moving pretty quick, yes. I mean, you can hunt it down. I don't know what you want to do there. Yeah. Um, what we're going to do is, no, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna clear out. So, so Dale's going to stand right here. Um Lamweon's coming this way. But there's a. I wonder if that's a. Huh? There's so there's nothing up here right now. It just looks like it's a it's a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm on Schmeppy. Um, you can't see. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, is so there's nothing here, right? Oh, no, it's just a hallway. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just just pretty much okay. at dead ends. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to check that for secret doors. All right, but there's a door here. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, this I don't is, want to leave anything this behind. Is going me. up a slope. So if you were to look at this right now, this is like a slope that goes up. Okay. So I don't know how I should. If I have to write, I'm gonna write like this. Yeah. Just going so, hill. I got you. So so yeah, is it is it going up or going down? So like the ogre is the ogre running downhill or running up a hill? Uh, he's going up. This okay. where you are is lower than where he's going. Okay. Maybe All that right. helps. Yeah. All right. Well, might not help a little later if we're um. Okay, but okay. Well, then what we're gonna do? We have a door in front of us here. We are going to. Well, we're gonna all form up, and. Callan's going to try to open the door. Okay. So you're letting that, you're letting this guy get out of here. Right? Yeah, we we can we can we can track down the ogre later. Let let him run and okay. go tell everybody that the world's falling in. That's 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 great. Okay. That's what we want. That's what you want. Okay. What I'm going to do? Well, come on now. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that token out of the way for now. Yeah. Is that cool? But we know so that you can't we really see where a, he went. We know a big scared ogre that's a little bit hurt that's running somewhere. Okay, that's what you know. And I'll put him back in when we get to him, right? Yeah. So let's do uh, – let's take a look at this. So you have – here, you're going to try opening the door. Callan's pushing it open. Yeah. Well, does it he's open? He's not going to have I problems. Mean... It is going to open for him. Yeah, he's pretty okay. strong, right? What is this? No, okay. Let's do this. Strength is – uh, for Callan, his strength is um, 16. I just want to make sure that it's not locked or anything. It's not locked. It's just pushed yeah. shut. I, he didn't get the other guy didn't get a chance to do what he was supposed exactly. to do with it. Cool. So he was trying to push it open. And um, let me just go ahead and illuminate what you're looking at at this point. Yeah. Okay, the, the door opens, right? Mm-hmm. And it is. 
It is a storeroom. Okay. It has just a bunch of stuff in there, like uh, three shields, 17 spears, battle axes. Everything's in really good condition. Um, there is a crossbow with 60 bolts, too. Wow. Nice. Okay, but, but we don't see any bad guys in here. No, it's just a storm with stuff. I think it was just trying to get away from you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So there's just so there's just a bunch of stuff like littering the, the, the I mean it's like how this thing's set up is just you know, I mean if you think about it, yeah. it is really just stuff all around here. Like yeah. wrong. Okay. It'd just be like stuff all around here like this. Yeah. Um as you commit it's just like rows of stuff. Sure. Right? I don't know if that helps. The storeroom, storeroom. So this like this group of works, this is where they keep their um it's like their armory but a bunch of other stuff maybe too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right, yeah. so if if we don't if we don't see any bad guys in there, um well, you know what we're gonna do? Um just for just to make sure, um send the thief in, right? Um sure. land we all gonna come in here and take a look around if there's no bad guys he's gonna come back out all right cool okay now and i know this seems silly but um i just don't like anything we're gonna back out this way um gail's gonna be in front of them, and they're gonna go up here and Callus is gonna look for secret door up here. Right, give, her, give her a roll that's what you got uh, i just want to make sure one Okay, he's banging all over the thing. There is nothing there. Gotcha. It's just earth and it's like an alcove. It's probably just set up for these kind of scenarios that you just ran into, believe it or not. Okay, all right. Except, all for, right. except for you, just, you know, one thing that's really interesting. Yeah. Um, some kind of excavation's been going on. Interesting. Yeah, so without trying to, like, I mean, it'd be kind of hard to illustrate this, maybe, if you can imagine. Gail. Uh, Gail. Just there's. Pile of dirt. I guess I don't want to use that color. It's a little over the top. Let me do this. You can just see where. Uh, so get up. You can see where, for some reason, somebody's taken and pulled out holes in the wall that goes about that deep here and here. And what they've done is, it, from what you can see, it has been um, a situation where they're burrowing in to the thing. Um, for what you you do not know, but they've been digging in. There's like parts that have been dug into. And for that matter, you can actually look up. You can see it this way too. It's every so often you see something that's been dug in. Um, yeah. So it's really strange. Can um. Well, Dale's got quite more gloves on. Um, can we move some of the dirt and see? Because we're looking for that that big gem. Maybe they buried the gem in there somewhere. Uh, no, I mean, you're digging through the dirt and stuff. There's nothing that you see that's even, even close to being like a gem. Yeah, all right. No. Okay. Does it look like they're planting anything in there? Or is it... Uh, uh, they're just, they're digging for something. Yeah. It's, the dirt is not, it's not a fresh dig. I mean, it's like it's been dug, but it's not been messed with in a while. Oh, I, I mean, got you. Now, it's not, as you can tell, it's like there, sometimes you get the wet earth. There's it's the wet earth. Yeah. It's like it's been dug and it's been dropped. And there's piles of the debris out into the quarter. So it's been ex- excavated this way and dropped right in the center of the thing. So walking through it has a little bit of a terrain to it, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm with you. Okay. It's really weird. But, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to – so we're going to make – all right, so what we're going to do – well, we got to find out about that. All right. Um, we're going to make a little bit of a change here. Uh, so we got Dale coming down. Callus coming. Callus is going to be behind Dale. Lamweon is going to be behind Call- Callan. Okay. And we're going to come down. And every time we get one of these, we're going to kind of look at this urban thing, make sure that nothing comes out and grabs us. Right. No, it's just it's been excavated. It's really strange. All right. Uh, it's just a, a weird thing. So it's an orc okay. thing. I don't know. Gotcha. I don't know if that really helps. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw something really quick. It's gonna kind of elaborate. 
Sure. Just, and I'm waiting for us to get the bin. Okay. Coming in here. I don't know if this is helping you much, but um, you see all this going on? Mm-hmm. That's about right. Okay, cool. I don't know if this is really helping. You're not actually, I'm not really describing what you're seeing in here yet, but there's stuff mm-hmm. in here. But as you come, we'll explore what they are, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay, all right. So you're at the cusp here. You do see something that's really, really strange. Okay, so I'm going to start just putting stuff out, and you're going to... All right. Um, Okay. And we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Wait, before you get your uh, hopes in the high... High hopes, whatever that says, right? Let's do that. Okay, here we go. Oh, freaky. Yeah, okay. So when you come in, what you see is what appears to be a whole bunch of goblins chained mm-hmm. up together at the neck. They're manacled at the neck. And, mm-hmm. uh, they're excavating, and what you see them doing is they're basically just kind of, and they don't even they don't even notice you. There's always something going on; they don't care. And so, uh, what you see happening is uh, essentially um, they're digging. These are goblins. Goblins, right? Oh, I remember Lamweon. He overheard the four orcs bullying the goblin. Yeah. Okay. Remember from the other game before when you yeah. put down that secret passageway. Okay. So um so they're so they're excavating. Um what you can tell. Alright. Do and I don't see any other orcs around or anything? No. Not from your direction, no you can't. Alright. We are going to um We're gonna go this way. Um, and see if we see oh I can only go one at a time down here to get around them. Yeah. So now and then you hear them kinda of like make a squabbling noise and they, mm-hmm. they kinda of like they throw their dirt from their shovel. They throw it and they kinda of hit you guys with the dirt. Gotcha. In a very rude way because obviously you're walking by, they're mad that they're digging, they're they look like they've been captured. Right, it's kind of what you have going on here. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, so, let me answer. Okay. So, Dale comes around this corner, and I, I still don't see any orcs anywhere. 
Oops. Oh, yeah, there is two. Two orcs. Let's see something. Undo. Come on, undo. Okay, well, it's fine. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put them on the map. There is two, what appears to be orc. They're sleeping. Okay. Yeah, they're sitting there sleeping in chairs. Sitting right mm -hmm. there. Okay. And, uh, they are, um, I, obviously they have whips down at their feet. Like they they have a job to do, but they're, uh, you could smell like the nasty, it smells like some remnant of some kind of ale they might've drank. There's a couple empty jugs on the ground. So obviously they, they've had a job to do and their job, they're doing it drunk. I guess there you go. That's that's nice way of saying it. So, uh, that's what's going on. Yeah. That's what Dale sees coming around the corner here. All right. Um, <laughs> Okay, well, um, so he's gonna, he's gonna, well, I would like to f capture one of them. Um, all right, well, can, Dale's going to, um, well, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, Callan's gonna come around this way. Okay. Actually, Lamweon's going to come around this way with Callan, and Callus is going to be here. Okay. And then Lamweon's going to come up. He's going to backstab this guy. Um, he'll, he'll get like a plus eight on this. You realize that because yeah. not only is he get a backstab, they're also not paying attention. And Dale, <laughs> Dale, and Dale is going to, he's not going to swing, but he's going to get ready to swing with his hammer. Okay, I don't go ahead. All right. Both these are going to be easy rolls. You have to be like, I don't know. They have an AC of 15. 15. Okay, you who did a, that? That was Lamweon with the backstab, so... Okay. Oh, only, only one? one. How the hell did that happen? That's all right. I guess, he, I guess he kind of came to part way through. Yeah. All right. Knocked it over. He starts to vomit all this bad liquor all over the ground. So he's, he stands up, and um, I guess we roll for initiative right at this point. So, boom. Yeah. I rolled two. You just got to pull, pull a two or higher. Go get that. Let's see if it happens. Three. Did yeah. it. Okay. All right. So uh, go ahead and determine what you're doing with who. Obviously, Lamweon's right in the midst of it. He's really on this dude. So he should yeah. probably get the first attack easy, right? Lamweon Lam Lam will roll again. Um I mean, I really wanted to keep one of these guys. Can you do a wisdom? Can you do a wisdom check, perception check, real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. For for uh, for who? Everyone. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, one of them did it. Got to nineteen, so that would have been um, callous. Well, do I got to roll under or over? I, it's under the wisdom scores. Okay, so if I go nine, is callous? He's under. Nineteen, right. Callan is not. The five for Lamweon is just at, and the other one 11. So three of them passed. They feel like they're being watched. Oh. But not by the orc. Gotcha. Feeling very prepared. Okay. Well, um, so. Okay, um, but I still got to finish this thing, right? So they feel like they're being watched. Yeah, well, yeah, you're on them. You got some drunk works on you, so yeah, go ahead and do what you're gonna do. All right, so Lamweon's going to, um, well, let's just take him out. Uh, 10 plus, no, I think that's a miss, right? A 10, because Lamweon doesn't have, oh, he has a plus, no, he's with a short sword, so that that's it. He just rolled a 10. Okay, Lamweon. yeah, so yeah. That's a miss. Go ahead. Yeah. So Callan's next. Yeah. So he, he, he can move into position. Clearly. Yeah. Callan yeah, will be go. right there. All right. Um, Callan's got a hell of a plus on him. So let's see what he does. It's gonna skewer him, right? No, he didn't. Four missed. What? No way. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Dale. Um. Well. Um. Well, Callus is going to 
first net now come up and he's going to swing with his um his staff okay so that's what's in his hand sure seven i think that's a miss that's definitely a miss is anybody gonna touch these dudes go ahead i don't think so and they're drunk okay and dale <laughs> drunk, fighting drunken monkey style <laughs> he always goes when dale he rolls up and um oh dale will put a wall up on him um i say that he does not. A three. Damn. Man, that sucks. Okay. All right. At this time, this is really weird. They push past these guys, right to them, and they run up to here. Okay? Yeah. Have you guys really kind of messed this all up? They stand up here next to this thing that's embedded in the wall. That's the thing we're supposed to get. That's the Aya Gromish. Okay. Then they turn, and obviously at this point, they pull out their short swords, and they stand on both sides like this, and with this thing here, and they wait. No. All right. This is not going to be good. All right. Um, we got to kill them. Okay. So we're up. we're up for the attack again? Yeah, because they're holding position. Yeah. All right. So let's make this happen. Um, um, Lam- Ka- Callan's going to um, run up and attack. Do a saving throw. Saving throw. That's not going to be good. Did not do it. All right. For three rounds, you're going to run in fear. Oh, God. Gotcha. So you're going to try to get out of the view of this thing. you go hide behind this wall. Then you can try again, but right now, you don't want anything to do with this damn thing. You freaked your ass out. It's like a giant eyeball just started looking at you. Burning red eye. Burning it looked like eye. a... It looked like a rock embedded in the thing. It just opened up its eyelid and just took one look at you, and you failed the same throw, and it freaked you out like you wouldn't believe when you were behind the wall. Good lord. Okay. Um. All right. Um. Now. So what do I got? Um. Get this thing. Okay. Um. Can Lamwe on? Instead of getting that close. Anyway, I could fire or shoot with his bow, right? Yeah. And Dale with his sling? Yeah. All right. We're going to do bows and slings. Land we on okay. two arrows on the guy to the right? This guy? No, this guy. This guy. Okay, go ahead. Right. Okay. Two so, arrows. Two hits. One hit. Oh, the 10 oh, yeah, gets, oh, oh, yeah, he gets a huge okay. jet. He hit. Go ahead. Let's see the damage. Four. But is that Four? the guy I knifed? I don't know. The guy that's standing next to him? I don't know. Whichever did I did I did he did he shoot can I can I have shot at the guy that I did like two hit points of damage to? <laughs> cause I cause I screwed up the Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. Alright. This uh he's not dead. Okay, he's just hurt. Yeah, so you did six hit points total on this guy? Yeah, yeah. He's still kicking. He's still, he's still kicking. He's good. Right. Just okay. FYI, right? Dale's going to um, do his sling at the same guy. All right. The same dude. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Let's see what he does. 11? Does he have a plus? He does. He has a plus one, so that's a 12. All right, so miss. He has to have 13. Go ahead. Yeah, he did not do it. How about the? Oh, he only gets one strike. That's right. Okay, he only cool. Gets one, so he's down twenty-nine, twenty-eight bullets. Got it. Okay. All right. So, uh, at this point, they yell, "Be Yark!" Oh no. Yeah. And uh, you hear this thing coming. <laughs> you don't have enough problems. Yeah. And uh, you got three more things on in their way. 
But Callie can deal with this mess. He just can't be in the presence of the eye. Yeah. But they're going to be they're going to be in here within a round. They're going to be in here to join the party. Just FYI, you guys get another round. Whatever you want to do. Callus didn't do it. Was he supposed to do something? Is he a do Callus, anything? Cal- Callus is good. I, I I don't think he can throw his daggers from here. No, that's too far. Okay. Um. No, I think. Um. Um. <laughs> okay. So at this point, that he has B Rock, all these little dudes join run into their little compartments to get out of the way of the war this is not gonna be good yeah obviously they don't want anything they don't want to get killed they're chained to the wall over here they just slide into the room so they this must be something that happens so they know exactly what to do it's kind of like there's the drill all right there you go okay all right so um gotcha all right so now it is my turn right yeah. Okay. Um, this is going to be fun. All right. Um, this guy's going to... Okay, so... Lane Weon's going to go... Just, just to FYI, these, are, these orcs are bigger than the ones you find on the other side. They're like yeah. twice as big. So... Exactly. Just not trying to wrap your head around the fact that... Yeah, these are I, bigger. I mean, you can physically look at these guys, and they're they're more fighters. They're a little... I got you. And they're yeah. carrying spheres. They're going to have like a, if they're charging you. They're going to get a bonus on this thing. Just like just letting you know. Of course, this is an ogre, this is an ogre. Yeah. So he's really. I'm just letting you know what you're up against. So yeah, yeah. there you go. I'm with you. I'm, 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 I'm with you. So, um. So what? Um. I got a plan. No, I'm saying this is going to work, but I got a plan. All right. So, Lamion is going to um. Step up here with his bow and okay. he's going to fire uh, it, this is the same guy that he shanked before yeah he's down about halfway let's so put that way okay he's gonna he's gonna fire twice on that guy again all right all right, all right. cool right yeah are you tracking their arrows because i for some reason just, right. um yeah he's i think he's he's shot He's he's like he's down four arrows if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So that's a miss. That's a hit. Cool. All right. Cool. Miss. Let's see if I can set. Oh. Five. That's fine. I'm gonna let him go down on that one. Right. Miss. Okay. Stay around with him. One hit point. Let's take him out. Boom. Okay. You got one of the guys out of it. Go ahead. All right. Um, Dale is going to. Uh, oh no, it's not Dale. It's Callister. He's got to do a saving throw. If he's okay. coming back in the room, he's got to do a saving throw. He can't come back in unless he passes. Gotcha. If he wants to stay out here, he doesn't have to have a saving throw. 11. I don't think he made it. Okay. His, he has to get a 12. Shoot. Okay, all right. So what do you want to do? Well, unless it's versus... No, he has a saving throw. He has a plus versus sleep spell, but not against magic. No. Okay. So, um, so he is going Callan is going to he can't get back into it right now but what he's going to do is he's going to sort of hug this wall here okay all right um uh, yeah all right callus is going to um is he shoot an arrow or anything at that work what's he going to do just let that guy do his thing what he's going to do is he's going to stand right here okay. in eyesight of the ogre and um see so can the ogre get to me now one two one two three four five i mean i mean oh, oh hold on one, 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 two, one, two. yeah that's nine he's probably gonna be over because what i want to do is i want to cast my web spell and track him in there ah so callus is going to come over here and yell in orc and also ogre come get me you big sissies <laughs> I feel like a eight year old come get me you big sissies and okay, he's gonna, right. and he's gonna try to run follow you essentially yeah you're but and, and what he's gonna try doing is he's going to cast the web spell um right here gotcha 
So it covers that area right there. And then um, what Dale's going to do is Dale's going to step up into here and do his sling at this guy. Okay, all right. So Callus makes a yell. What is it? Come get me, you big sissies. Come here, you yeah. big sissies. <laughs> right. so I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you charisma roll that thing. So basically, just roll your charisma to see if. I mean, I, chances are they're going that way anyways. So I'll give you. Uh, they get a. You get a minus two on your roll. Stay under your charisma. What's your charisma? Thirteen. So you have to roll below a fifteen. Okay. Seventy-five percent chances. Is no. No. Uh, oh, I get the odds of that. Okay. So basically. They're going to, uh, uh, I guess they see him. No. They're, going to turn, they're turning him. I'm going to get like this. We're going to have these orcs going this way. Yeah. And we're going to have uh, this ogre now going towards Callan. That's kind of where we're going with this journey. Right. But go ahead, let Dale take a shot, and then these guys are going to do their thing, all right? Yeah. You live and die on the rolls. All right. Yeah, it seemed like you had a pretty good shot. 75%. Yeah. Damn. How come it's the things in the oh, oh I'm I and I even miss with a darn sling. All right, so did you really? Did you miss? Yeah, because you rolled a five. Sling is not your thing, is it? No, it is not. It's no, it's not your thing. All right, cool. All right, these guys are up to do their thing. All right. They are. So these three clowns are going to make their advance. So you you held back. You want to drop your spell on these dudes? Yeah, there. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast my uh, web spell because that's what I was gonna do. I mean, I I cast my web, and I cast it yeah right there, and hopefully trapped them into it. Okay. That's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Four. Whoa! I gotta take that out. What? But instead of doing, I was trying to like, I guess, cover an area. Well, area they couldn't run through. But yeah, that, that'll work. So makes sense. Hold a second. I gotta fix this. I just screwed this up. No worries. It's always something. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Right? Let's just do all this. I don't like it. Let's see the edge again. So I assume that the web goes like this. 7 by 2 is 14 squares, right? Yeah. So I was no. say, okay, so that whole area is all webbed up. They're stuck in it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good move. Now we're going to do this, dude. He's totally coming to engage Callan. Yep. Boom, right? He's big. He's going to get a plus 4 on this. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All that work up and nothing happened. That's how that's gonna roll. All right, go ahead. Uh, back to you, top of the order. Callan and Callan is an expert at killing ogres. I you hope know. he is. He's gonna need to be. Go ahead. He's gonna roll it with his new magic uh, sword. What'd you I'm get? You, this thing's bugging on me. Sixteen. Nice. Did it. Yeah, with all your other stuff, that's gonna be fine. Yeah. yeah go ahead. 1d8 5, I believe. Yes. What'd you get? I got... Oh, here is. Bargain, 7. A 7 plus 5 is 12. Wow! That's a big cut on this dude, man. Wham! And, and, and he took a... Is this the same guy that took the necrotic damage from before? So what now? Is the same is the same guy that took the damage from the... Um, from the... Uh, Phantasmal Force spell? Yeah, it is. Wow, okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, it took a big punch out of him. He's really hurt bad. But he is, he's gonna probably maybe get one more stroke in him before this thing's over. But yeah, yeah, you got him messed up pretty bad with that one. Dang. Callan's is, Callan's is a sight to behold, man. I'll tell you I'll tell what. You. He's going one to one with an ogre. That's awesome. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> All right, what are these clowns doing? Because. All right. So, um, Lamweon is going to take a shot at, um, the guy standing next to the thing. He's, he's, he's going to take a shot at this guy. Two shots. Sure. With his throw. Okay. Because we're not getting near that thing for a while. Um, 
One hit. Oh, wow. Okay. Six damage. Nice. Wow. Okay, cool. All right. Did he take two, shits, two shots or just one? Oh, he took one. He took two shots and one was a miss. Okay. So he's, that's, he's down two more air arrows. He's holding his position. He is not coming out of where he's at. He's for whatever that. It's kind of weird. Okay. So what's Dale going to do? Um, Dale, since these guys are trapped in the web, um, Dale is going to um, turn. Well, no, he's going to continue to um, do a sling shot okay. at the guy standing over there. One of these has got to hit eventually. Maybe not. <laughs> it's mine. I don't know. What's going on? I have no idea what's going on with that. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah. So, Callus, what are you doing now? Um, Callus, he can't do much of anything at this point because he can't get close enough. He can't throw his dagger darts right at that guy. Um, those two guys are all webbed up. They're not going to get out of there for a couple of turns. Um, he got twenty minutes on those dudes. Yeah. So Callus is going to. Um, Oh, but he's got a no. But all right, I don't. Th this is. I'm gonna see if he can make his save. But he's gonna take take out his dagger darts, okay. three of them, and he is going to. You know, let's see what happens. What the hell? Um, he is going but you, to. But you get about 25 feet, which is about here. You're gonna make their. You make your save. I don't know if you can see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Here, there. he's got to make a saving throw. Cause he and he's got to be within 15 feet to throw his dagger darts, right? Yeah. So all right, so let's let's so let's try saving throw. 17 did it. Oh my god. Okay, so he's not gonna be affected by this eye for the entire time he's there. Nice. Okay, so he's fine, right? So, so Callus, good to know. So Callus is going to. Um, he laughs. He doesn't understand why Callus such a baby. <laughs> brother. Baby brother. You, you gotta run away, you big baby. <laughs> All right, so, go ahead. Um, so he's gonna get he's gonna get here fifteen feet away and he's gonna throw his throw his three dagger darts at the guy. Okay, go ahead. One okay, hit. That was that was gonna hit. Roll for damage. Only one point of damage. One point of damage. So that was six plus one is seven. Seven hit points you've done taken out on him, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, that's that's everybody, right? I think it okay. is. Yeah. So this guy's oh, okay. this guy's clearly going to run and engage him, yep. and he's going to try to take his stroke on him. So let's do let's do let's do this first, sure. okay? He gets a plus four on this roll. Mm -hmm. That's a miss. Nice. And uh, how Cal long ago did you cast that shield? Um, the shield lasts about 20 minutes, and we went into that other room and down. So I don't know. It, I, it's fine. You're, you still got shield on. So what is it in hand? What's his armor class right now? 15. He has a 15 armor class, hand-to-hand, -hand, and 17 with missile fire. All right. So he's got a sword, right? Boom. Yeah, so 15. Miss. Nice. Was a nasty miss too. All right. Top of the day. Let's do this. So we got uh, Lamleon. What you doing, buddy? Lamleon is going to take um, two shots at the um, orc in front of Callus. Okay. So how many arrows? I have him down like eight arrows right now. Is that about right? Yeah, I, that's he's, what I got too. I've got. He's been, I've got, he's been having I'm some fun. Minus eight. You, you gotta do what you, you gotta do what you're good at, right? Is that what it is? That's it. true. One hit. One hit. Okay. Roll for damage. I rolled a two. That sucked. Uh, yeah, he's pretty hurt. But go ahead. It was next one. All right, then. Um, Dale. Oh shit. Dale, he's gonna he's gonna pull out his warhammer and just. I mean, I know he's got to make a save to get to him, but what he's, he's going he's gonna to try to do is he's going to try to um, come up here and take a swing at him, but I know he, i got to make a save. Alright, go ahead. Because that sling isn't working. Six did not make the save. Yeah, he's going to have to run and his next turn 
and hide back there where Gallon is, right? Gotcha. But then again, he might run this way. He's just scared. He might run into the web. There's a 30% chance he runs into the web. All right, so, so what we're going to do is like, it's a one, two, he goes to the web, four, five, six, he goes around this corner. Okay. He wants to get away from it. Come as bad as possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible fear thing that's going to oh, overcome him. All funny. right, so, Alan, right, did Callan do his attack on the orc? No, 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 he didn't. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, no, I didn't. I, 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 yeah, Callan gets to attack. Yeah, he does his thing. Go ahead. 14, oh, that's a hit. That's a hit. Let's see what he, I, he's going to kill this thing. Yeah, okay, Describe it. Good. Describe oh. this monster. Well, you know, um, big ogre, but he's down. Um, he took one swing at me, missed, went high. I went, I went low, and just cut him right across his belly. Just this, and the, and the, the belly blubber just kind of all came open. And he his entrance. He tried to scoop his butt back in. Back in, and then he fell. They fell backwards. What to say about our jobs? That this is what we call fun. <laughs> He goes down. He goes down on the ground. It's a big pile of just gooey guts and stuff all over the ground. Okay, fine. All right. And he and he and he actually um and he can and he fell over, moved over this when he's laying on top of this goblin. Oh god. So let's roll this one, two. Dale's gonna run into the web. Three, four, five, six. He runs to the other side where Callan is. Go ahead, roll it. Oh my god, this is gonna be funny. Five. Nice fight. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna make uh, his bolt. Put him down here with Callan is crying yeah. like a baby yeah. to an elf. What's wrong with him? Alright. So uh we're at the top of the order. This guy's fighting to the death, I guess. Yeah. So he's gonna go to uh he's gonna take out Callus, he's stabbing. Yeah. Miss. Nice. Alright. Okay. Do this. All right, Lanweon with his bow is going to uh try to pluck him off again. And one hit. So now I'm down twelve. Jeez. Right. But one hit. I have you down ten I have you down ten arrows. Oh, Not ten, 12. okay. Okay. Well, ten. Okay, so he's down ten. And he took three points of damage from him. Uh, he's dead. He's gone. Nice. Let's pull him off the map. Boom. Okay. All right. Um Okay. So All right. This is imp- this is some important stuff that we that we got to do. Um Callus is the only one that's not affected right now. And Lamb we on Okay, I got you. Um so I got I got to be honest with you. Yeah. Since it's a stone slash gem looking thing, yeah, the, uh, the dwarf would get a bonus of trying to pull this thing out of the wall. Yeah, oh, I'm with you, but the, he's he's there crying like a baby. Um, yeah, I mean, it makes it safe. He can come back in here. Let's see. I don't know. All right. Well, so Callus is going to come down here and get a crowbar from Lamweon. Okay. And he's gonna call for Dale and Callan to come to him. So are they going to make a, a um, try a second throw again? Is they going to have to to get in that room? Let's see how they do. All right. Who do you want to do first? Uh, that was Callan and the 12 and I don't think he did it. Let's see. No, no he did. He did, go 12. He did. Okay, cool. So Callan can get in the room. What about the other guy? Dale. Oh, Dale. Come on, Dale. He's first level. So he's he's, he's got a, what's his? Did not do it. He's got a five. And it makes sense. He's being a cleric, seeing something so evil and ghastly. Yeah. It's kind of probably hard for him to kind of be in the room with that thing. So yeah. Uh, so, Callan, Callan can come in, um, but Dale's, uh, Dale's. I'm staying here. <laughs> Don't like that. Um, all right. Well, then Callus is going to hand Callan the um, um, crowbar, and Callan's going to come over here and try to. Um, we have a sack, a large sack, and we're going to try to get it out of the um, the wall and put it in okay. the sack. All righty. What do we got to roll? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, shit. Uh, let's say you got to roll a... Uh, 
I got to give him the benefit of the doubt. You got to roll above a seven on a D20, and you're not going to have a problem. Okay. If you roll below a seven, you're going to shatter that thing trying to pull it out. The, uh, 17. Uh, no, I was going to finish my talk and say, okay, well, Dale, on the other hand, we'll get, okay, it doesn't really matter. You, you're able to pop it out of the wall, okay? Okay. He said, you got this thing, and it's, it's actually blinking and looking at you while you're doing this thing, right? Well, just, uh, but he's but he not going to touch it with his no, hand. No, he's just dropping it in. He's just dropping. He's not touching that thing. Yeah, drop it into the sack. And then he's going to tie up that sack and put it in another sack. <laughs> he's going to put so many sacks around this thing. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So, yeah, from what you can see, it's totally, uh, it's covered and covered and covered again. Yes. Okay. All yes. Right. Um, all right. So now, Callus is going to ask one of these goblins what they're doing actually at this point in time they look like they've come out of sort of a sleepy daze yeah and they're completely confused oh lovely they're kind of they see themselves like chained up by the neck to these areas and they're, they're all kind of tugging on it they weren't doing it before but once you put the thing in the sack triple sack that yeah, now they're kind of like, I don't know, like they're able to, they're a little more cognizant, I guess you might say. Gotcha. All right. Um, well, then, okay. And these orcs are still in this web. Yeah, they're pretty tied up. <laughs> so, Callus is going to ask the orcs. What, what were you doing with the goblins? Uh, they don't answer. Well, I'm going to do a saving throw for those guys and see whether or not they're going to answer you, right? So, uh, all right, they, they turn around. They, they just say one word, looking. Looking. Looking for what? And they won't tell you. Um... We have a torch, and you're in a web. <laughs> what were they looking for? Uh, they won't speak. They won't speak. Did you see the roll? Oh, my God. They just said looking was the four. They don't yeah. answer 17, and then you threaten it with the torch, and they won't say anything at all. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Yeah, well, we're good guys. We, I can't burn them there. All right. Um, <laughs> it's an idle threat. I can't do anything about this. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. All right. <laughs> so, I was there to scare you. It didn't work. It didn't work. Sorry. Okay. Um. So now, well, let's go check out. So is this the rest of this room? Is this all that this room is? Now, it goes up a little more this way. Okay, we're going to go check that out. All right. So, I'm going to go, let me, let, me, let, me, let me finish this mapped area so you can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's sort of strange. You, you kind of came at this really kind of odd, not the way that it was written, but then again, that would probably just be normal, right, for you. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> just, just being honest, I don't want the black one. <laughs> I mean, have you ever come into something normal in this thing so far? I don't know. No, I mean, I, but it was, but it was weird when we were in that secret room and then we strike an attack from both sides. So, yeah, this is gonna go this way. Wait, okay, this is this way. This, oh, whoops, wrong. Okay, let's see that. And let's go this way. This is kind of. It's kind of a it's kind of a hot mess. Part of my horrible illustration will do our best, right? Well, All right. It's part of Schmippy. Schmippers. Okay. And uh, this goes this way. From what you can see, most of this is going to be cleared out. Okay, except for. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's, I'm gonna have to zoom back out a little more. Wait, so you can see the whole thing that's going on here. And let's go back to Phil. 
Oh, Philip. I'm gonna go this way. All right, here we go. Nice. This goes this way. All right, so I, I don't know how much I want to give you on this. Yeah, I can, okay, there we go. Da, 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 da. And here, my friend, is what appears to be, when I do this right here, and appears to be the cave entrance. Oh, cool. All right, does that make yeah. sense? I guess you can see what's yeah. going on here. And, uh, yeah, there you go. This area is all cleared out. I mean, obviously, all the guys came running from here. From what you can see, there's nobody up in here. Nothing, mm -hmm. right? There's like a tool. There's a stool and like some place you can sit. There's actually like a weird-looking little alcove thing right here. Just kind of FYI, um, that looks mm -hmm. like there's like it's like a murder thing where you can go up to here, and they mm -hmm. can hide back here and they can shoot arrows at the guy coming in. But no, he's here. You just took these dudes out so there's nothing back here it's pretty empty all right and there's nobody that looked like a leader or anything to capture or interview or no. all, right. all right um okay so so and then we're gonna come investigate this back room here and, and there's nothing there either uh no there's stuff there oh well, there is uh-huh uh -oh. yeah mm -hmm. walking too fast all right okay there is a uh, there's a human being. It's a human being. Yeah. Is it? Um, I'm sorry. Is it? Wrong thing. Uh, yeah, there's a human here. It's he is wearing full plate mail with the shield down, and you cannot see his face at this time. He actually has, um, also there's a table in the room, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll put that here. And behind that table, well, wrong, and then again. Okay, let's try again, boom. And with the table, there is, um, there's a bunch of like, it looks like maps and stuff. Some kind of excavation going on. And this guy is just sitting at a chair staring at you. All right, and um, Callus says greetings. Who might who might you be in this dark and dank place? <laughs> uh, he kind of rocks back a little bit, puts his foot up on the table, and holds on to the hilt of his sword. His armor is really really dark colored. It's a basic. I better change that little guy's dot because he does not look like that. I guess you might say he sure. looks more like that and gotcha. let's move him over a little bit so he looks a little there yeah. yeah he turns around and he kind of pushes his foot off the table and stands up like this mm -hmm. and he simply walks over towards you aggressively no okay cockily he, right. tur he, he tries to push past you guys, turns around to here, and just walks out the cave. Huh. Okay. Can he, we... You want to follow this dude? Or, yeah, yeah, sure, if you want to. I, I want to see where he's going. I just want to... I, we want to go out the to the cave entrance here and just see where he's going. Uh, Make sure we're not being ambushed. Uh, you can sit there from here. When you guys come out, you can see the other entrance Yeah. Uh, from the cave that would be way over here. Yeah. I guess you say where Alfred is. I'm going to do this, yeah. and then I'm going to hold this thing to make it bigger so you can see. gives you some kind of geometry or whatever, geography of what's going on here. So that's the other. I made that look stupid. Okay, boom. There's the other entrance way over here. Okay? 
He's walking over and he gets onto his horse, which is outside. Okay. Completely, it's like snubbing the god awful hell out of you. How? Like, it's like you don't even, he doesn't even care you exist. So how how far away is he from me? Right now, uh, probably in his walk. I mean, you guys are kind of stunned. So he just yeah. pushed his way through. He's human. And what's strange is he actually smelled good. You better all the other smells you've run into in this thing. He smells like he's bathed. He smells clean. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's really strange. So he turns around and um, I guess from where he is right now, He's 16, so 16 times 5, 80, 80 feet, I guess you might say, at this point, by the time he gets to his horse, okay. and he saddles up on his horse, and he um, essentially turns yeah. and starts to move towards the entrance to the caves of chaos and rides off. All right, if you do any action before he rides away? Yeah. Um. What the hell? Okay. Um. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Stop me! We just went here to slaughterhouse, man. You stop me, man. I've been working at this. <laughs> so, so when 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 he is definitely sixty feet away from me, lightning bolt scroll. Okay. Because he he's in he's in plate armor, right? Huh? He's in. He's in plate armor. Yeah, he is. Okay, let me see, let me see let me see what you got going on here. One second, wait. Uh, or is or, is or is this supposed to be a recurring character that comes back and we deal with later? You can hit it. You can hit him. I'm not. There's nothing wrong with him. This is part of the game. You do what you think you want to do. You, but this guy's driving away. You're. You just strike him with like with wall. You can do that. Yeah, no. You know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're down hit points. Um. Okay, we're gonna chalk this up to. That's just weird. Well, if he's right. here, hold a second. I don't know if you can hit him. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's fine. Let's measure. Let's do it. It's, it's callous, right? We're gonna see if you can measure from there to there. Um. Okay, let me see if I can. Um, Sixteen points. 18 times 5. 16, that's 17.5 to him. So what would that be? 17.5 times 5. I gotta take out my calculator. I can't do this stuff yeah. in my brain anymore. I'm too old. It's not that I'm just tired. It's been a long day. I'm gonna do this stuff. Once I get a calculator. That'd 17, be, 17, it's 85 feet. I'm sorry, I don't need a calculator to calculate yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, he's about 85 feet. I don't think you're going to be able to reach him. No. No, I no, can no, definitely no, no, reach him. No, 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 240 feet. You can hit him. I was saying. 240 feet. It's just that it's got to be more than 60 feet or it bounces back at me. But you know what? No, I mean, it's fine. We're going to let him go. He walked away. Um, We got a mystery to solve here. Um, We have the eye. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, John. Okay. We are going to. Um, I know this sounds odd, but um, we are going to. I'm just gonna move one of them right right now. So you see, we're gonna go back in. Go past. Not don't get in the web. We're we're basically gonna go back to this room right here. Get okay. the um, get the uh, spears and the tapestry down. Okay. And um, then we're gonna come back in here and check to see if these orcs guys are still tied up. Oh yeah, they're still tied up. You did a good job, Boy Scout. Boy Scout style. Yeah, they're you got them. Yeah. Um, is are they worth anything at the keep to bring them back? You can find out. Um, yeah, okay, so we're gonna, um, we're going to keep them tied up, you know, but we're gonna untie their feet, but we're gonna, um, Callus, or Callan is going to, um, make them walk in front of us, 
you know, with his sword at him. And we are okay. going to bring them down here to Alfred. Okay. And um, again, they're well. They're you know what we're going to do? We're, well, we're going to keep their feet manacled together. So, so they're both manacled together, and the hands are tied behind them. Callan is behind them, and Dale and Lanweon are going to pick up Alfred and put him in the litter. And we're going to carry Alfred home, and we're going to guide the orcs back to the keep. Cool. And that would end our... Oh, but before we do all that, um, well, no, when we get back, we're going to do the detect magic spell on everything and make sure that we got we got all the magic items accounted for. Yeah, it appears to uh, it appears like everything that I think is magical has been accounted for. I've been kind of pretty straightforward with that, so you you know, right? Um, so you're going to take the quest back down to the keep. Yeah, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the two orc prisoners back to the keep um, for questioning there, because they can question the hell out of them, see if there's anything they can find out, and the eye of um, Gromish. Is that yeah. we're supposed to we're return it? And um, I guess it's 9.30. And, but yeah, we're going to go back to the keep. All right. So uh, in your journey, and it will, it's like six miles, right? So it's not that hard, right? So you're going to make your uh, your big movement towards the keep, right? And when you get there, you're going to... Um, um, they, as you're coming towards the front of this thing, you can sit there and see this thing, which will be interesting. Um, this is like number one. You see where I'm at? The cursor. They see uh, the guards start seeing you. Like obviously you got two orcs and manacles kind of marching, you know. And then there's clearly you're you're pulling out Al- Alfred's mangled body, essentially back to the living. The, the drawbridge comes down, right? And the port is raised, and they then they you kind of come in. Uh, a couple of the guards they get real quiet. They they always put their head down when they see the dead being brought back. It's pretty intense, right? So as you enter, as you make your rounds, you come back over. This is Naman's place. This is the trailer. He's the one who hooked you up with Alfred, right? Um, he shows back in. He's he's totally upset. He's oh my god, he's been on so many missions. What happened? And you kind of relay the story about what occurred. And um, then he starts uh, point blank asking questions. I mean, you didn't bring the orcs in the trading. No one would bring they'd leave outside <laughs> they don't bring orcs into the so the orcs would be like outside on the porch area who's who would be watching them at that point oh, it would be Callan um would be watching them in uh dale oh okay so when they bring them up uh they're outside like this and um he sends he sends uh one of his like clerks out boom run just, uh, go get the go get Marcus and Lord Benford and you guys have returned right because you guys were supposed to bring something back so they go off and they, they come back and when they come back they're kind of like ah oh, I see you back from your exports um, so at this point you guys are still in the trading post right right and uh, you guys are having a discussion so how do you want this discussion to go what do you want to say to this guy so sure a couple things um we want to um, meet with Alfred's family. We have a gift for their family. We're sorry for the loss, but we have a small token of our gratitude for Alfred's good work. Um, we obviously, uh, if um, Father Talbert won't do the right, I mean, he may do the right, but we can hold a funeral service for them. We're not sure if they want to burn the body or bury the body, but whatever, however they prefer, we, we, have, a, we, have, a, we have a priest with us who can do that. Um, but we also have some business to deal with with Lord Brentford. So is Lord Brentford there now? Uh, no, it's just Marcus. Okay, I mean, so they sent Marcus. Marcus to go. Yeah. Sure, sure. We need to meet with Lord Brentford. We have something for him, and we also have some questions. We have some reconnaissance and some intelligence to give him about what's going on in the orcs in the caves of chaos. Okay, cool. All right. So at this point in time, uh, you guys are all here. Obviously, you're. Orcs or who's who was out here with the orcs? Callan and uh, Dale were. Okay. You two guys are right here, so basically Cal's has been having this whole discussion. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So 
how do you want to take how do you want to go back are you taking well, the orange well, with you to go back to the plan on doing well, what we want to do you probably have a stockade or something inside the sure community. no we want to give the orcs to them for them to to imprison we are turning them into the keep um, gotcha. oh, and and i ask marcus is there any reward for prisoners because we have these two prisoners and i think that they should be in questioned and they should be interrogated um that's not up for us to do as harshly as you might do but um there's some other stuff going on in the caves of chaos that they may be able to tell you about that we'd be interested in knowing if they told you anything but they're not talking to us all right so uh they're both standing outside he looks out at them and he says um would you mind gagging them before we march him any further in town could you get could Callan uh, and I guess that's Dale right I think I met him yeah. uh, can those two like put gags around their mouths before because they have a tendency to spit on the on the, the, the patrons and the people of the keep and orcs are vile creatures and we don't want them like causing any more havoc I'm surprised the guards didn't make you gag them when you brought them in um we could gag them um, or at least put can you at least put sacks on their heads or something like that because they're just vile and disgusting well seems awfully yeah. specious of you but yes we can all right um <laughs> I just want to make sure, I mean, the idea behind it is like there's like women and children and everything right here you're these are monsters you're rolling we, got, like, we got we got we got, we got we want things on that side of the wall we don't think on this side you know, saying, yeah, right? we got no. We have we have sacks. We can put on the head. I mean, not a problem. Or, I tell you what, um, brother Naaman here would definitely um, give us two sacks right now, wouldn't you, Mister Naaman? He goes, oh, okay, yeah, All right. for a gold piece. I I I flip him a gold piece. <laughs> Everything's money to this guy. Yeah. So, yeah, he gives you two sacks that'll clearly fit over an orc's head, right? Yeah, and I took off the gold. All right, so so we so we come out, we put sacks on their head, and I say, lead away, Marcus. So they take the guys down to here, like Marcus mm -hmm. is walking fairly further mm -hmm. ahead. They come to one of these areas right here, and it's like the bottom part yeah. um, is like an armory stuff. He goes, they can go right here for now until we finish our questioning before we we're not going to take them on the inside of the keep it's it's not a good place to take something like this we just marcus, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you're paying attention marcus these works are now yours you don't have to ask us what you're going to do with them oh, okay I'm okay them you. they're your work to deal with I've, okay. I've i've been dealing with these things for hours i'm done dealing with them <laughs> hey so he turns around and uh he, he takes he, uh, two of the guards come down. They grab the orcs. They pull them in, and they go underneath here. And there's like a, there's literally like you know, kind of like a stockade area down in there. So, and and then he, he comes back and he goes, well, let's go ahead and take you down to Lord Vinford. So he walks yeah. you through the rest of the town up to this way, stakes and goes through the two sets of doors, one, two, brings you in here, comes back all the way up here, and then you end up into the actually court of Lord Vinford, which is right up here, right? And um. So he's already sitting there at a council with several people oh, at this back conference room kind of thing at 28, um, a couple of his um, you know, advisors and stuff. When you guys come walking in, Marcus goes, our adventurers are back. And Lord Bifford goes, oh, congratulations. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. Uh, what did you find? Did you find what we were looking for? Yes, and a whole lot more. And we have a lot of questions. Um, but first, you wanted the eye of um, Grumash, I believe. Yeah, Gamash, yeah. What, what you do have it? We do have it, and um, I am a I am a mage of the mystic. I just want to tell you, this is some spooky shit here. This is, <laughs> this, is some, this, is some, this is some weird stuff. Okay, so so he asked, a, you, just, you didn't look at it, did you? Um, now we. I, we were able to get it out of the wall and we were able to put it in the sack. We haven't touched it. Okay. It did cause some fear in my brother who has now overcome that fear. But, uh -oh. but uh -oh. this thing will spread fear. Well, you, you're, whatever powerful magician or sorcerer that you have, this thing is some very serious magic. So what, 
what happens, and this is not a good thing, is that um, once you're in fear of this eye thing, I mean, that's we had this happen to one of our scouts went looking for it, and he got scared of it. He went by himself, was able to sneak in, sneak out, but was not able to retrieve it. He lost his map. He lost a bunch of the stuff. He came back, and uh, he could not sleep at night. He eventually died of exhaustion. He kept having dreams of the eye. Good to know. Thank you. So I don't know how that may affect your brother, but uh, for for some reason, it's like he could not... um, and I'm just going to metagame here. Has to take a saving throw every night before he goes to bed or he does not heal back any of his points. Gotcha. Until, like, he gets uh, it's sort of kind of like a curse. Yeah, I understand. And the same thing for the dwarf, then. Uh, but- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad for everybody right there. Okay, wow, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Okay. But it's um, just he has to make a saving throw every night to get his one HD hit die roll. Gotcha. Got it? Yep, 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 yep. Until you get a remove curse thing, which I don't know where you would pick that up. It's probably in there somewhere. I'm sure there is, or I wouldn't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> well, question for you, Miss uh, Lord Benford. Do you have anybody that has a remove curse, curse spell? <sighs> Our father Colbert has been uh, pretty helpful. Father Tavar, I don't know us if he has one. I think he, um, Somebody says there's some really, really amazing magic mm. deep in those caves that probably would help. Gotcha. There's been rumors that there's a gem that's able to remove a curse. Gotcha. Okay. Well, sounds like we have another another quest. All right. Um, so you got your eye. Um, and I go through and I, well... I explained about the Black Knight. I explained about the digging and the goblins that we just left chained there. Uh huh. <laughs> and they're digging for something. Um, do you have any intelligence on what they could be digging for? Well, the Black Knight was not forthcoming with any information. So, did you actually talk to the Black Knight? We tried. He rode away. I don't know what. I, I honestly can tell you that he didn't act like we scared him away, but he saw what we did with everything else and he left. So I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm, I'm very confused. There was just somebody, the Black Knight, where? Outside, sitting on the horse, looking at you and rode away? I don't know this. What are we talking about? In the, in the caves where the goblins were digging, there was a, there was a being in black armor. And when we approached, he left got on a horse and rode off. Do you know anything about a black knight in this there's, case? There's no black knight here at the keep. There's I don't know anybody that this doesn't fit anybody's description of anybody I know. And honestly, mm-hmm. out here on the I would say in the borderland area, I would pretty much know of any but this doesn't fit any description of any locals either. I mean, well, what did his armor look like? Did it have insignia on it? Did it have, I mean, I don't, I, what was? What did his horse look like? What color was the horse? The horse was black. He was, he, he, had, he had solid black armor, no insignia, um, and he just sauntered off. So we have another mystery. Why did you, why did you let him go? Um, we were trying to uh, get him to talk to us and he rode away. I'm very confused. So we had was, just gone through rooms and rooms and rooms full of carnage. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm so confused because you said, okay, so he was in the cave or was he just sitting on a horse? He was actually in the caves, sitting at a table with his feet propped up as if he owned the place. All right. So, and how did he get on the horse? How did he? You? Did he just like kind of just? So he was close to the door and just kind of walked out the door when you guys came walked in. Out the cave and we and um, I was gonna light him up with a lightning bolt spell, but I realized that you know I didn't know if he was one of yours. I had no idea. 
came to talk with you. You wanted the eye. We got you the eye. Okay. Well, let's just this is this is a riddle beyond all riddles. Let's just let's just celebrate on what the victory we do have. And what I want you to do is go over to the end. Dinner, of course, is on me. Here is your reward. What did I promise you? I forgot. What did I promise these guys? Um, loads of riches and magic items. No. Um, <laughs> um, what did you promise us? Um, I promise you, you guys will all be next level up. Yeah. Well, there was. You said there'd be a reward, but uh, yeah. There was a reward. I'm gonna say it's like a thousand gold pieces or something like okay. that. There was a lot for getting this eye. But but what you're gonna do is recalibrate your guys, push them all up one level. Okay. okay. So. The only thing you're going to do is for the hit points, you're going to have to roll for those legitimate. Like, so we're okay. going to go to, uh, let's do to our Mappy. So let's do Callens first. Let's roll a 1d8 on him. Let's see how many more hit points he's going to end up with. Callen gets, I'm rolling a 1d8. Yeah, you are. Five. So give him five more than what's normal. So his max is now, what, 39? 39, because he was 34. Yep, you got it. But, but what's his hit points right now? His hit points are not 39. Oh, oh, well, he, I'm sorry. His, it, it, his, his max hit points was 34, and I rolled a 5. Do I get a my plus 1 for my bonus? He has a constitution bonus. Yes, he does. So, yeah, it would be 6, right? So, so his max hit points is now 40. Okay, cool. All right. But he's at... He's at 20 right now. 26, because he just got six. Oh, oh, sweet. Okay, 26. Nice. His, okay. his, max, his max is now 40. Okay. Yeah. Make note to yourself. Okay, Lanwion. He gets 1d4. Yeah, he get Lanwion. Yeah, he doesn't have a constitution bonus, does he? No. Um, I don't believe he does. You know, no, he, um, he does not. It's a, it is okay. it is zero. So he just gets okay. 1d4. Here, hit it. All right. A two. two. So his max is now 23. Oh, it is currently 23 because he's not down any. So his, his hit points at 21. Yeah, but it was 21, but he just got two hit points, so it's 23. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's 23 out of 23. You're right. Yep. All right, let's do, uh, let's do my friend Callus. He's 1d4. He's 1D4. sitting on 19. 1d4. Got a 3. three. So his max is now 26, and he's now sitting at... But he has a plus one to his con. Oh, So that's well, three or four. So he has his max, his max is uh, 27. Oh, nice. Okay. And, is, and he's sitting at, what, um, 23? Sitting at 23. Yes, he is. Okay. All right. Dale's moving uh, to second, right? Nice. Okay. Okay. So do him up. All right, and um, I think it's a one d six. Is it, am I right? I is think, yeah, I believe it is. Yeah, it is one d six. Does he get a constitutional bonus or no? Uh, Dale does. He? Oh my god, that can't be right. Oh, he, he gets a plus three because it's plus it's because one. Because constitution and all that cool stuff. So yeah, he's, four, he's, so he gets plus three to this thing. Yeah, so plus three to roll. One d six plus three. Yeah, oh my gosh. Two plus three is five. So he gets another five. So he's at 29? He's at 29. Full. And he gets an actual spell, another first level spell, besides the one he has. Although he's not been casting. Well, you said that I had two spells, so I studied Cure Light Wounds twice, but remember, he only did it once. Yeah, but you get this is where you actually get a bonafide. So he gets two, he gets, now he has three first level spells at this point. Wow. Okay. In, his, in his arsenal, right? Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. So so he has three first level spells. And those are different. It's not like uh those are uh because you call it, I do I do I do cleric spells quite different than magic users. Are magic users they have to study night before. Clerics yeah. call upon them in times of need. So the whole gamut of first level spells are available. All you gotta do is decide when you want to use it. You don't have to like. You can say I'm gonna use this third uh, cure light wounds. Oh, and then I'm gonna use a cure light wounds. Oh, I'm gonna use cure. I mean, you use those three because that's. Or you can say, oh, I'm gonna use a locate object. You can, you can choose what you want as you're going. Oh, okay. So and I'm different. Sure they're, they're pulling it from the divine, so he, he can decide what he wants when he doesn't. He doesn't. There's no praying, preparing for that. Does it make sense? I just exactly. do it different. 
that makes them different than the magic user, I guess you might say. It's, I, I just feel better that way. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Right. So they're going to go now, I guess, and hang out on the end, and then just go ahead and get the, uh, how would you say, just uh, um, kind of taken down for the night, wash yep. their garments and stuff, because that's what that's what heroes do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you meet some of the other folks, like Lomix there, Ezekiel. You know, they're still hanging out at the bar. Sometimes they're going on the venture, sometimes they're not. They're sitting around, you know, just kind of talking. They see you. They're, they're not. They're not paying. No, no, never mind. Well, uh, I got to show you something else that you may want. Well, can we do one thing appreciate. before we go back to the end? We want to um, go to um, Alfred's family. Oh, definitely. All four of us, and um, we are going to find them. We are going to. Um, share in their loss and i had and I, I had separated out of the last treasure a small okay. pouch of 50 gold pieces ah uh, okay and we want to we it would be nice if we can get father um the, the, the priest with us and we can basically bestow upon them 50 gold pieces and um basically offer to uh bury alfred okay hey and so we, so Naaman's there, and obviously he's uh, clearly he's going to be the uh, the go-to guy for all this stuff, right? So uh, he uh, he hears your uh, he hears the story of Alfred again. He's, he feels so bad that all this has happened. So he turns around and he's like, uh, he he tells one of his clerks, he says, uh, "I think we need to call for his his family, right?" Mm-hmm. So his family, um, and they said they're living in one of these little little rooms that you see at the end. I mean, at the keep, they're down here, where it says in the 70, 70, all the way down this corner area, right? That's where his family's located. They didn't notice you dragging him, like, behind them in the little stretcher mm-hmm. thing, because they were busy doing their thing or whatever that was. Um, so, short story long, uh, they uh, they come, and they're, like, looking at the, uh, uh, the you know, basically the outside of the shop and the mom's sitting there she's got her apron and she's kind of like wringing her hands a little bit with her apron in it kind of like she was just making some kind of food of some sort and um she uh she uh is scared to even venture in because she doesn't want to uh find out what's going on so I don't know what you want to do. You're gonna go outside, doctor. Yeah. What is, what's your goal here? This is kind of creepy. So go ahead, have some fun. No, here. no, no. I'm no. I'm just saying. You know, we all go and um, and uh, Dale, uh, the dwarf. Uh, I, Lassie, we're so sorry for your loss. And Callus uh, approaches and says, Alfred. Um, unfortunately, there was an accident, and Alfred did not make it back. Um, but we um, want to share, give you a share of the treasure that. Um, um, Alfred worked so hard for. He was a wonderful, you know, wonderful torchbearer. Uh, we're so sorry for your loss. It was an accident. He got jumped from behind, um, and we give her a small sack of, of fifty gold pieces. She just starts to break down, falls to her knees, and starts to cry. Yeah. Her eldest son walks over and picks up his mom, takes the bag from your hand, grabs her, walks her out the door extremely yeah. upset and then the boy turns and he says I'll come back and get Alfred and turns around and kind of like uh, kind of leaves mm-hmm. and then he's like clearly he's upset but he wants to take care of his mom first yeah. she comes running back in and she's um, how would you say she she sees yeah you know you have him on the other side of the shop she really can see his man go by she sees him mm-hmm. and she, she goes how did you let this happen to him she's like so upset she's like crying but then uh and, and then the boy says, come on, mom, we'll, just, we'll take him now. So they just grab mm-hmm. Alfred and he carries him in his arms because he's like all of like 50 mm-hmm. pounds or something and just walks him out and goes back down to his house. And he, he just feels bad about what happened. But, you know, mm-hmm. it is what it is, I guess. You is. So then we turned to Naaman and said, um, if you have another torchbearer, we, we, we need one. Let us know. <laughs> You're horrible. Hey, we uh, took care of him, though. We brought him back. We gave him 50 gold pieces. We got to update your. We got things on your on your character sheet. We have to update. Uh, so so looking on your character sheet, I'm a little confused about a couple of things. But I see there's a place we have to do. Uh, I have to put another box in here somewhere. Um, 
I can do this. Wait, wait, wait. No, let's do this. I need to do. There's a section. I forget. See, it's like when you're making a character card. You're saying, "Man, I need to do something, right?" Um. Which one are we looking at? Let's look. Let's look at your um. It's a road above. Boom. Okay, cool. I am looking at right now Callan. Okay, Callan. Gotcha. Yeah. Go to Callan. See this. Right. Yep. And what I'm going to do is, uh, that was over here, I'm moving your character sheet around a little bit so I can, there's this, there's this thing we need to put on here, I don't normally put this on here, but I get a little confused. Um, so you 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 have a base to hit bonus, right? Mm -hmm. Because the way we're playing it with the ascending armor class, base to hit bonus. Okay. And right now it's a plus two because you're at fourth level, right? Okay. So I don't know what all your other pluses, you've got to figure that out, right? So this is plus one per level for damage, but because he's a fighter and he's fourth, that's what that's going to be. Okay, so if we look at your other sheet where it says your bastard sword, it's 1d20 plus one. It's not magical, is it? No, no but no, but the thing is the bastard sword, he's not carrying it right now. The, the reason why the magic longsword is, is bolded because... Um, it's a magic longsword plus one. So you said that to put, it's a D20 plus two to hit because of his strength plus one and then the plus one uh, for um, the sword. And then the damage is um, in parentheses. So it's one D8 plus two because he has a plus one strength and it's a plus one sword, right? Yeah, for the damage, right? Yeah. But what's his bonus to hit? One D20 plus one? I, it's it's one d twenty plus two because it's a plus one magic sword and he has a, a sixteen strength. Okay, so that needs to be plus three now. Okay, I got you. And obviously, this one's going to be a plus two if he uses the bastard sword. Does it make sense? I got you. I got you. And he's got a bonus to hit now. And the same thing with the bow. <laughs> See, along with d twenty plus three, it's now actually going to be d twenty plus four with the bow. Okay. Because cool. he's he's got fourth level, you get the bonus for for hits, right? Okay. And honestly, the thief is going to have actually the thief and the magic user are going to have this. Okay. So let's take a look at these two guys real quick because you might as well fix them while we're here, so, so we know we're looking at. Which one you what do you want to do now? Callus. Let's do Callus first. Callus. Right. So I'm going to put a spot for the base to hit bonus. Okay. As soon as this thing pops in, so I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close some of these windows so it goes a little quicker. All right, let's close that. Let's close that. And yeah, this is, so we're gonna take this and put a row above it. Come on down. Don't, don't mess with me. All right. Uh, it's a row above. What? It's a row above. Boom. Okay. I, this is where it gets so crowded. The cards can't really hold all this information. Dang it. Um, we can make a small little beat to bonus. And we give a plus one for this, right? Plus one. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we should put on this. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So why is that so huge? Maybe shrink it a little bit. Shrink it a little bit. So when he's fourth level, how many spells does he get? Uh, according to this, he's really going to be loaded. Is he? I hope. Find out. The glass. Three ones and, and, a, and one two. That's what you get at third level. Right. So at fourth level, he gets another second level spell. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So yeah, so this is this is good. So he gets a base hit bonus plus one. Okay. So you, you'll just have to keep track of it because you're smart. You can do it. I don't worry about you. So, um, you got to figure out the rest of your... I guess if you look on the other side, he gets... Yeah, I can... No, I'm, I'm on the wrong guy. Wait, hold on a second. You can just figure out... What's he get? See, he has his staff. Okay, his darts, he gets a plus one on his attacks. Mm -hmm. So this would be plus one for all this, right? 1d20 plus one? Unless well, he it's magical. He has, he has, no, the darts he has plus two because he has a 17 dex. So it's a plus three on that word. Yeah. Plus one for his dagger. Okay, cool. That's nice. All right. Yeah. And let's do the uh, other dudes, um, which would be Dale. Nothing happened. He doesn't get any bonuses. Right. But Lamweon does. Let's take, with, let's take a look at what he has going on. He's going to get a plus one, so let's make another row for him. 
And I don't know if you noticed, but I put the rope of climbing on Lamb Leon. That's cool. He hasn't had to use it yet, which is cool to say, right? Yeah. It's a row above. Cool. Alright, now I can't believe this whole thing up. Oh. Good. I forgot this. Base to hit boom's BTB. And I spell, I spell. I can't spell three letters wrong. BTB. I just did one, two, three, okay? He gets a plus one, okay? Plus one. That's nice. So then if you look back on your stuff. Yeah. A plus, well, he's good. He needs one, right? He's, these oh, things are does. not okay. Cool. So unless he finds some magical crap coming up here, he is what he is, right? Plus one. Now with the yeah. now with the weapon range, he already has a plus three. But so I guess I got plus four. That's awesome. Nice. I mean, just mm. increases your your odds of doing what it needs to be done, right? We still miss, don't we? It doesn't really matter, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh God, yes. I will a one in a heartbeat. It is. What's this underneath here? Is this something I, I, just, I just said we, we filled in the secret room, but we can we can delete that now. Oh, I just matter. You keep what you. I know. I, I know your notes. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. So everybody's good at fourth level, and obviously the there's no bonus for uh, the cleric yet. It's a yeah. slower cleric to get stuff. Okay, yeah. that's cool. He, he's just he's just level two right now, but he gets three level one spells, which is nice. Yes. Um, and he didn't get any. Uh, I didn't cheer. You know, okay. Well, there wasn't any magic loot that was really for him. I guess I could give him the snake staff, but then. You can't use it. The no. Can, oh, I can, oh, can use it, oh, but I could, I could give it to Dale, but I don't know. You know, um, you know what I'll, I'll do is um, Kalos will still use it as a plus one staff to hit. And then occasionally I will, I can lend it to Dale and Dale can throw it. Try it. Or try. you can try to talk name and trade, trade something. Oh yeah, okay. Well, we can do that again. We'll do it. We'll do that next time. We're running to ten o'clock hour, but yeah, yeah, I got you. But obviously, you've you, you've accomplished an, an important mission. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't die. <laughs> Didn't die. All right, Mike. Listen, yep. have a good time. We'll talk yep. later. All right, All buddy. Right, bye bye. bye.